stuff, legends. But um, hope you're all doing well before I do my intro. Yeah, hope you're all doing well before I do my intro. I just need the thing to give me the signal so I 100% really know that again, I could start a little early. Nah, yeah, everything's good. The volume's great. Sweet. G'day, legends. TJC Sports here. Welcome back. As usual, to another NRL live stream reaction. Today, we're going to be doing the St. George Illawarra Dragons versus the Manly Warringah Seagulls here at the Gong Legends. Who's going to win? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Manly coming off a loss just like the Dragons. Actually, though, unlike Dragons for Manly, this was their first loss of the season. And it was to my mighty Batamata Eels Legends, or some of you call them the Batamata Squeals. The Manly Warringah well, Seagulls Legends, clearly the better start of the two. But who knows, maybe the Dragons were just having an off two weeks. I mean, they looked all right at the start versus the Cowboys, but the Cowboys were just a little bit of a higher level above them. And then also you had the loss to the Dolphins, which was just horrific. Hopefully for them, that's not the kind of result we get today. The Dragons have been a bit of a bogey team for Manly in the past Legends. The last two times these teams have played, both have gotten the win at one point, with obviously last time they played... Manly getting in the win, 24 to 18, and quite a tight one there. We've also the Dragons absolutely smashing them the previous time, guys. Believe it or not, with a 20 to 6 result. Could you imagine if we get something similar to the 20 to 6 today? Dragons fans would be going absolutely wild. I know my boy Julian Ali would love it if that were to be the case. Um, currently on the poll, guys, we've barely even started, and we've got 17 votes. Good on you, legend. Very, very quick there to be at that point in time already, guys. Um, don't see too many creators live reacting to this game, so it should be a fun stream overall, right, guys? Um, Liam Pritchard in the chat says, Manly 13 plus first try scorer Tommy Turbo, mate. I would love for Tommy Turbo to score. He's actually one of my any times, bro. So, yeah, if Tommy Turbo can get over the line, yes. Please, dudes. Anybody remember 2021 Turbo? I really miss that guy. Hopefully, we can see a little bit of that today against the Dragons. Um, Fightimer in the chat says, Manly, Manly, Manly. I wonder who you're going for, Fightimer. No, no, no. Not in my chat, bro. Not in my chat. Manly says, I'm all wolf. Liam says, go, Manly. Everybody's going Manly, bro, in this one. Everybody. Everybody's going Manly. Nobody's going towards the Dragons, and despite the chance of it. But to you know what, though? I don't blame them. For me, though, this is only 1-12, to 12, which makes me kind of a little surprised that some haven't gone with the chance that the Dragons can do something here. For Timer says, this game is just a side piece compared to the next game up the mighty Gold Coast Titans. Hey, man, you know, the next game certainly should be the better one of the two. I mean, Titans and Dolphins, when they've played, have been very entertaining games. I don't think they've had a 13-plus in a regular season game yet between those two teams. So we should be in for a massive one there as well, guys. Now that you're actually talking about teams and all that, though, I should get on with the team list for both these sides, guys. For the St. George Illawarra Dragons, we have Tyrell Sloan lining up at fullback with the wings being Zach Lomax and Michaeli Ravalawa. In the centres, it's Moses Suley and Jack Bird. On the halves side of things, we have Kyle Flanagan and Ben Hunt. Flanagan, guys, how well has he started compared to what many expected? Francis Molo and Blake Laurie in the props. Jacob Little at nine. He gets his spot back. Jesse Marsh, I don't know if he's suspended or what, because he did do a high tackle last game. Let me know, Legends. I haven't really kept up to date enough on that, probably. In the second row, we have Luciano Leilua and Jaden Sewer. At lock is Raymond Faitala Mariner finding his way in. If you own him in your super coach or fantasy, you're going to consider that a massive win today. On the interchange, it's Tom Eisenhoof, Jesse Marsh. Now, there's Jesse Marsh. He just got dropped to the interchange with Jack DeBellin and Hame Sele. Hame Sele, somebody that the Rabbitohs will certainly miss. And Michael Molo as the 18th man. As for the Manly Warringah Seagulls, the team everybody's tipping, we have Tommy Turbo at fullback with Jackson Paolo and Tommy Dallau on the wings. So much Tommy's, guys. Tom, Tommy, how many Toms am I going to read? You know, last, you know, yesterday it was Tom Burgess. Today it's these two. And there's also going to be another Trebojevic. Three Trebojevics, guys. Jackson, in the centres, we have Tolatau Kula and Ruben Garrick. In the halves, we have Luke Brooks and Daly Cherry Evans. Mate, Cherry and Brooksy, how good has that halves combination been? I don't actually think 
that I could have foreseen how well that's worked out. You know, Brooks getting to be given that little bit of a step back, being able to just kind of play his own game while Cherry does all the captaining and ordering around. It's actually quite nice to see him be able to just show what he can do as just a player. You know, three games, he may only have a try, but he's been really, really good, and he's been looking deadly every time he's played for them. He may have not looked like scoring much worse para, but he certainly did versus the Roosters, and he still managed some incredible runs, as, as if you're watching the KO stream, you can actually see some of them on here, how incredible some of these plays were from him. Whether we see some of those today or not, we should be in for a good game between them. In the props, it's Tanila Paseca and Josh Aloye. At nine is Lachlan Croker. Second row was Homo Olokowato and Ben Trebojevic. I actually really like the second row there with Jake Gerbo as the lock. As for the interchange, it's Carl Lawton, Waddell, Brown, and Sipley, with the 18th man being Ethan Bullmore. Honestly, pretty decent sides there being named for both. Well, I think it's their best sides from both, actually, for the most part, really. Um, if I look at the ins and the outs, obviously, Murdoch, Masilla, Tua Palotu, Tua Palotu that, all that were in the... Um, um, they weren't even really involved, so I'm not really that fussed about them being out. Murdoch still is probably the biggest out for them, and I don't actually think that's going to harm them too much in this game. We should be in for a fun 1-12 to match here. I don't think it'll be a smashing. I think that the Manly Warringah Seagulls will be tested here. For me, I'm still convinced Manly are off to a good start rather than necessarily a team that's going to be like top six or whatever, but, um... I digress, we can wait and see, possibly I am wrong here, remember Legends, you know, I'm nowhere near a Manly fan, so, for Timer says, don't remind me about last year, mate, I'll, I'll try not to, but, you know, it's a little tough not to, man, go Parramatta Eels on Monday, go Parramatta Eels on Monday, Liam, mate, go Para on Monday, I'm already ready for it, Legends, we've just got to get through the streams tomorrow, I believe, and then, we will be vlogging that, guys. Such a long time ahead, guys. Because not only do I have those streams the next day, you know, with the Monday, I've got the vlog. And then after the vlog being released on the Tuesday after the Monday, I then on the Wednesday have to travel all the way to Canberra via a train, a singular train. And then on top of that, um, I'm going to spend the week there. Hopefully get some good connection for some streams, possibly. And um, just enjoy some family time over there. And then, of course, we will have the incredible first vlog at G. GIO Stadium on the channel, so plenty to look forward to on if you're, you know, keen to be watching the next couple weeks on the channel, guys. Um, Lukaka Melon says, ha, huh? mate, what do you mean, ha, huh? huh, 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 I'll say hi to you, bro, Ga mate, kaka melon, mate, ka 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 do -do 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 legend. Um, if I were to give you my own, everybody's giving me their first try scores anytime, I'll give you mine. Legend, because I'm just that incredible and generous. I will go, you know what, I'll go bold here, and nobody would have tipped it, but Dragons to score first, and Zach Lomax will be the man going over. And then not only that, will Lomax be going over, Manly will then bounce back with a try any time, and it will be either Tommy Turbo or Luke Brooks. If a forward's going to go over for Manly, it'll be Ola Kawatu, okay? And I'll say that Ola... I'll say that while that Dragon plays the first try scorer, I'll say that Manly's first try scorer will be um, Ola Kawatu, Tommy Turbo, or Brooks then after. But Thomas says, I've got Luke Brooks and Josh LAA on Supercoach. Who do you have? Who do I have for this game, Legend? Well, let's boot up my Supercoach and find out, man. Let's boot up my Supercoach, guys. Get a little bit of a teaser here for this one. Who do I have in my Supercoach for this one? Um... I have Ben Trebojevic and Tommy Turbo. That seems to be about it for me in this one, to be honest with you, Legends. So for me, Manly very much are uh, who I would favour for my super coach. But of course, as a non-Manly fan, you know, um, <laughs> it's a bit of a kind of mixed bag. I can't really lose either way. Because if Manly do well, it's good for my super coach. If they don't do well, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm doing a fun time anyways, Legends. Uh, what else we got here? Mate, for timer, mate. Not the tax man. Not the tax man, bro. Not the tax man. Zenpai says, Manly. Mate, you've let me down there, Zenpai. How could you, bro? How could you do something like that to me? Going 
four. Manly, bro. Ah, just my heart shattering into a million pieces just reading it and hearing your voice in it. Hope everyone is doing good, mate. I hope everyone in this um, chat's doing good. I always hope that, you know? Legends, at the end of the day, we're all people. Hopefully, we're all feeling brilliant as we head into this game here. You know, footy. Footy's not everything. Footy's incredible, and footy's given me the opportunity to have a public persona, but that doesn't mean that um, it's everything. Make sure you look after yourself, Legends. I must say that. Boot it up, baby. He says, Best Sport 2.0. Boot it up, baby. We got to boot it up. Boot it, boot it, boot it up, mate. Message from the dog here. The Manly Warringa Seagulls legends to go behind by 12 points before they win at some point in the game. Boom, bold predictions, baby. Having a fun time with it. NRL Show says, yo! Yo, NRL Show, man. How are you doing, my friend, in the chat, legend? Um, Obviously, mate, interacted a few times on Instagram. Love your stuff, bro. Hopefully, you can do some more in the future. Absolute legend over there. Um, really enjoying it, which brings me up, Legends, obviously, I do have YouTube, which you should like and subscribe to, but I do, on, on top of that, I also have Instagram, and TikTok, and Twitter, so if you want to go on any of those, or technically X, but I'm not going to call it X, you go to any of those, you can follow me on there too, so if you want to 100% keep up to date on every bit of news on the, about the channel, Make sure you have some accounts. You go over those social slots and uh, you follow me over there, Legends on Top, all right? And we'll be, do we'll be good. Uh, Will says, salute. I picked Manly, but um, but uneasy. Cooler first try. Talked how Cooler's going to go for the first try. You heard it here first from Will. I'll salute you back, bro, you Bronco supporter. I'm sure you're very happy about yesterday, though. Mate, my highlight from that game will be the Tommy Dearden tackle save. Oh, my God. Tom Dearden, ladies and gentlemen. He had an exceptional game considering how the Broncos outdid his team. He, he says, Empire laugh all you want, mate. We'll get the last laugh, Empire. We'll get the last laugh over you. Hey, TJC. Hello, York, mate. How you doing, legend? Liam Pritchard says, um, hi, Ty Tyler. I'm tipping the Titans next game. First win of the season. Hey, I'm tipping the Dolphins, man, but I feel like if there's a game the Titans will win based on how close they've been in the past, it probably will be the next game. But we're not talking about the next game for now. Right now, it's Dragons and Manly, but I'm with you all the way on that, legend, that if the Titans are going to win a game soon. It should be that one, right? Best Sport 2.0. Matt, my boy, commented twice within a few minutes, mate. You must be obsessed, legend, as usual, Jesse. Thoughts on the rumour that Lomax is swapping with Schuster? Mate, 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 all cap. It's cap, bro. Parramatta all the way for where Lomax is going. Forget about that, legend. I don't make fake concerns. You see. Bunny's guy says, York, what happened against Penrith? What happened? What happened, York? What happened in that Penrith game, the first one of the season? What happened, bro? It's all cap though, Jesse. All cap, man. It ain't happening. I refuse to believe it. He's coming to Parramatta. Even if he joins another team, I'll be convinced he's an eel, bro. He's an eel all the way. Okay, legend. All right. Now taking a look. Who am I? Speaking of Manly, I will go to that Manly game since it's at Seabus. You will, legend. Um, what? So when Manly um play uh Titans at Seabus, you'll go? Or it's like what game are we talking about? We talking about that one in particular? Because in that case, case I I look forward to hopefully seeing you on the telly, bro. Be like, yeah, Titans, Titans. Come on, we need as much support for our teams as possible. Any rugby league side, okay? Whoever you go for, whether I hate them or not. I want you supporting your team all the way, okay? It's the only way we can grow the game as much as we want, okay, guys? The more we the more we promote our game, the more we cheer our teams on, the more chance they get to have the money to expand to greater um, lengths for, this, for the thing. Reno was actually great returning from injury. Oh, absolutely he was then, by Adam Reynolds, the returner, bro. But d did you really think that wasn't going to happen? It's Adam Reynolds, legend. Adam freaking Reynolds. He is one of the best kickers ever, bro. He's going to be... He'll be forever remembered, okay, at South Sydney and Broncos. No matter how South Sydney feel about his last few years of his career at the Bronx. Daly Cherry Evans has just equaled the most manly games for them legends with 390 ties with Cliff Lyons. He will have the most after this game. Absolutely massive milestone for the bloke. I hope that he's very proud of himself. The Queensland captain, baby. Up the cherry. 
48 to 6. What's happening? Your team's a joke. I'm going the dragons on this one, says Bunny Sky. You're going with the dragons on this one, Bunny Sky, bruh? Well, you know, I did say not enough people are tipping the dragons, so I can't complain. Somebody's finally doing it. Up the Titans, says Pathima. But Dima, bro, the, the support for the Titans seems to never end, don't it? Okay, Legends. We've got both sides on the field. They're out of the sheds. They're having their little discussions. Ben Hunt's having a talk with Jack Bird and Jaden Sewer over here. We should be ready for quite a big game of footy today. Sunday, it's going to be an entertaining one, Legends. If you want to stay up to date with it all and can't afford KO, this is the place, bro. Absolutely brilliant kick as we kick off. Manly and the Dragons at the gong. Josh Ellie A into the line. That'll help out for time as Supercoach there taking him on. Stopped. Check the ladder, says York. Liam Prejudice says Tyler. Tom didn't tackle last night on Selwyn Cobo was amazing. Oh, bro. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Tom Dearden's tackle, I talked about how incredible it was. It was one of my favorite tackles I've seen in a long time, especially from a Cowboys player, bro. Absolute perfection. Now, to Tanila Paseka. Jake Trebojevic, oh, very misguided pass there. Ends up with Ola Kowatu. I don't think Ola Kowatu can do much. He collides with Tommy Turbo, his own teammate, and then takes the tackle. Blake Laurie didn't even know what was happening there. Now Tommy Turbo. Turbo putting the engine in, and Jaden Sewer keeps him back. I'm very keen to see, will it be close? Will it be a, a blowout? I've very much gone with a close game. I don't think there'll be any... Any blowout, okay? Neither of these games will be a blowout. That's my bold prediction, even though many will think they will be. Oh, there's Biffo between the Sydney Muppets. The Sydney Muppets are gone between each other. What well, time says York and the Bunnies guy? Punch on. Fight, fight, fight. Bring back the Biff. Bring back the Biff. Bring back the Biff. And Dragons, guys, halfway through their set now, taking the tackle. I need Lomax to score for me. So come on, Zacky boy, Lomax. Get over. How about it, legend? And I, in my defense, when it comes to bed, and I ain't a professional commentator, so I don't have any contractual obligation in that case. Listening to the car soundtrack right now. <laughs> why do I, why am I, like, I can't lie. I've done that before, you know. Okay, Zach Lomax, what a pass. Sloan, back to Luciano Leilua. Leilua, now over. Now the number three kicks low, Sully. Manly have to hand it. And no, luckily they can wait it out and it goes out of play. The lucky ones there. Life is a highway. Running down like they're in the highway now. Going down the middle here like a road, Legends. Here they go. Crazy traffic just like one. Now back over to Lau. Obviously late brought back in there with Vega going out. Garrick. Dow Jackson. Go, boys. Go, Jackson Paolo Legends, the former South Sydney Rabbito and Sydney Rooster. Then Paseca manages to find the offload. Luke Brooks could find the gap here. Luke Brooks shooks the defense there. Then to Jake Trebojevic. Jake Trebojevic, the absolute weapon. Very controversial call against him for what was an obstruction last week. I'm not even sure I agree with it, but for me, okay... It was one of those things where so many poor decisions happen in our game. I wasn't a fan of it, Legends. I'm not defending it, but I'm going to be proud. My team won! Tom Dreubick! And now he passes off to Dollar Down Cooler. We have a try in the opening four minutes of the game. Absolutely brilliant there. Brilliant. What a play. And Manly do it. Heck yeah, baby. I'm not here to cheer against anyone. Mate, you know that that was good when I'm going heck yeah about a manly try. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Tommy Turbo with the beautiful pass out to Cooler, and he just had to ground it in. Oh, at least we don't cheat the salary cap. Oh, yeah, the salary sombreros, man. Oh, my goodness, legends. What a beautiful play there. Bunny's guy 21 says, at least we did... Okay, um, you'll shut up. Go Manly. Go Manly. I'm 21. Uh, check the ladder, Bunny's fan. You absolute split salary. <laughs> but Tyler, both of you Muppets shut up and watch the game. Watch the game, Legends, guys. Watch the game. Evening, Legends, says Jason Reader. Evening, Jason Reader. Welcome to the stream, mate. What a pass. I know, right, man? What a pass. At least Booker X sends... Suns is with me on this one. It was an incredible pass over to him. And now, 
the the Dragons will trail behind Manly in this one. Okay, Legends, 4-0 to the away side. Soon to be 6-0 in a second, potentially, here. Ruben Garrick, the former Dragon, with the kick, and he gets it. Right in the post there. 6-0 to them, guys. 6. Is that an omen, Legends? The number 6, Luke Brooks, is going to go over next, guys. Luke Brooks going to go over next. do 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 it's going to be a shocker for them all. Mate, Tommy Turbo had like four four dragons on him. Once he got that ball off, there was nothing they could do. Early days, though. But Tommy Talao bags one for them. Manly 13 plus as Jason Reader. I'm going 1 to 12, man. But you can stick with your 13 plus, bro. It's not out of the realms of possibility in this game. It's actually very much possible. Legend. Now, down over to the left, Josh LAA. Josh LAA with his arms out there. The Dragons holding him over. Josh LAA, Lachlan Croker back to the left here. Jake Trebojevic. Luke Brooks with a good pass. Tommy Turbo. Turbo, and he's not caught by Ben Hunt, ruining the fun for us all. Luke Brooks now with the backhand over. Now Cooler, the first try scorer of the day. Now over with a spin, and he gets flicked and held down. Oh, you were kidding me. Now, the Manly Warringah Seagulls over on the halfway. Josh LA, guys. LA, mate, he's going over like a steam truck. Look at that, guys. A steam train. Now, Daly Cherry Evans with a cherry pick kick there over. A cherry pick! And Ravalawa manages to catch that one. Now, Carl Flanagan. He'll have a few decisions to make here. Carl Flanagan, not a terrible playmaker. I mean, his, one of his best positions is number nine. Yeah, mate, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it um, because, unfortunately, for some reason, the mods aren't here to deal. Aren't here to deal. You can both go in timeout for 10 minutes, come back, and just don't discuss with each other, uh, Legends. There you go. Ref 13 plus is Viking Axe. Of course you go on 13. 13 plus Viking Axe. Why wouldn't you go 13 plus in this one? It's you, bro. The referee's going to win 13 plus. Well, right now he's only winning 1 to 12, Legend. But maybe the referee surprises you dudes. Now, over. And, oh, you're kidding me. Manly managed to collect. Now, over to Tommy Talao. Tommy Talao going to take the tackle here from Blake Laurie and Kyle Flanagan. The son of the coach here. A daddy's boy there. Come on, daddy's boy. Get on side, daddy's boy. Get on side, daddy boy. Then back over. Cooler. With a cooler than cooler play there. Taking it about t five metres. Then over to the right here. Luke Brooks. And Tommy Turbo knocks the ball on. Are you kidding me? What are you doing, Tommy? What are you doing? Tommy Todropovic is his name now. What the heck was that? And now we have a full set for the St. George Illawarra Dragons. And that's the last thing you want to do at the Gong Legends. I mean, sign language at this point. Lol, mate, absolutely out by Tommy. They're going to start going like, I don't know sign language. But like, what? You know what I mean? They're going to do some crazy moves I've never seen before on each other, Fly Tama. Would not shock me. Make me mod again, TJC. Viking Axe, you wish, brother. Community... TJC currently stealing the views from BK. Hey, I can take the views that I want, man, while Blaze is gone, legend. Mate, Blaze will always be number one for now. But, hey, uh, when I can have viewers, I'll have viewers, okay? Kyle Flanagan to Molo. Molo with the spin and Manly holding back there. One more tackle left in this. Now over to the right here. Ben Hunt with the high ass kick there for the Dragons. Knock on from Manly. And Jack Bird may have just scored. Jack Bird, legends. For the Dragons. He can play center. He can play lock. He can play in the arms. And he can play there. What a try. And now the Dragons just may have equalized. Depending on the kick coming up. 6-4. The Dragons on their way back to the top. Brilliant. 6-4. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm here, one of your models. Yes, you are, mate. So make sure you keep an eye out, legend. Having a smoothie. Awesome, legend. Enjoy it, NRL. It's an NBA edits. Enjoy it, bro. Enjoy your fun time. Be back in a few, TJC. All good, Viking Axe, man. Yep, it was a try for Manly, bro. Absolutely brilliant kick from Ben Hunt. And then the Manly Wingers Eagles with all of their players in the air. 
Luke Brooks claims that he got it, but nah. Jackie Bird apparently gets there first. High five on his teammates. He knows he did good there for the side. Uh, however you feel about Jackie Bird legends, brilliant play there to give themselves the, the absolute the opportunity. Finally, legends. It was looking all in favor, surely, of one, and then it went the other way. I'm actually not going to complain there, you know? This has been fun as a, um, as a neutral. I say neutral, but we all know how I feel about Manly. We all know, Legends. Like, let's not be secretive here, like... Guys. Absolutely incredible here. Zach Lomax now, guys. If he gets the kick, it all changes here. Zach Lomax with the kick. And he gets it right between the posts. Six all, Legends. Six all. Lomax, the number two, bags the two. Two points on the board here. And an equaliser. And the Dragons will be over the moon with that one. But remember, guys, it is only early days here. Nothing has been decided in this one just yet. And yes, I may be saying that as a Barramatta supporter, but I think any logical supporter would go into this game going, nah, mate, nobody has decided the game just yet at this point in time. Salute to Liam Highwill. Hey, Liam. Liam, mate. Hello, bro. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Mate, it was a great try from Manly Will. Why just... Oh, no, she just gets excited about the game, Legend. But she's um she's upstairs doing her own thing right now, Legend. So we're cool. We're cool. You also got to remember, Legend, I'm streaming right now due to tech, due to background things in on my couch in my lounge room right now. Um, we're still, um, we're doing a couple things, right? Sorting out some stuff. Point is, in a little bit, I'm going to be able to have a lot more of uh, equipment. For the streams and all that, Legends. And that's where I'm really excited for the channel, okay? Because, trust me, I'm getting a new phone. I'm getting new streaming stuff. I'm getting a new laptop. Everything is just going to go up another level in quality. This little black scoreboard or whatever that's in the corner, it'll look a lot better, okay? Trust me, it won't just be a little black scoreboard in the corner. It'll be much more, I guess, you know, of that quality you see on other streams, Legends. Trust me. All right? So, yeah, that's um, currently what I'd say. I don't like... I don't complain too much when people accidentally interrupt at a family because of that whole fact that I am in the lounge room. Legends. Now the Dragons, guys. On the defensive foot here with Manly getting the ball back. Tommy Talao flipping over here. Hello, Brocky Sports, mate. Yo, bro, you legend. Brocky Sports says, I can't be at the Titans game today because I'm sick. Oh, man. You're sick, bro? Well, you get well soon, legend, okay? Hopefully, we can get some tries for you today and celebrate an incredible day of Saturday footy, guys. It is Super Saturday, a shorter Super Saturday than usual. Dragons holding back Manly, fifth tackle, Brooks is just going to have to kick it in the air here, and the Dragons, oh, Tommy Turbo might get that one, drop from them, Tommy Talao for the double, it's off the Manly, it's off the Dragons, who's getting the ball, is it a full set again, I do not know, we're going to have to wait and see on the call from the referee, we're going to have to wait and see, Legends, get your thinking caps on, hmm, I do not know how this one's going to go. The pack. Look at the hills, legends, if you're watching the streams. The hills up on there. Mate, there's so many. I can't see the grass on the hill. All right, we got a review going up from the bunker. The bunker will make the decision here on how this looks. I honestly think the Dragons, Tommy Turbo, you could argue, pulls it out of his possession. But does he have the firm possession of the ball? There's some big questions to be had here, and the referee's going to be, the referee's certainly going to be having to think hard about this one. Beautiful there, though, from Cooler, the way he collects off of it, and his effort is definitely there. Tortel Cooler, guys, definitely the best um, back so far. Tommy Turbo, you could give a shout too in this one. Mate, remember Burton's kick without the kicking team? Mate, that was awful. That was awful. In his defense, though, you know, without the team. Yeah, yeah, it could have been worse, but he probably... They they need to get to the T to him quicker. That's what we learned from that legend. They need to be ready, okay? They can't just be taking their time. He needed the chance to come back. He wanted to come back. He had the ambition, legends. He probably was never going to come back, but, like, come on. He should have been given the T a lot quicker than he was. That's why he took it, legends, and it wasn't a great kick, but still. 
Rocky up the mighty Gold Coast. Hopefully the loss of Tino doesn't affect us. Yeah, we'll get more into that in the next game, Legends. But yeah, hopefully the loss of Tino doesn't affect you um, too much. I think it will. But, um, you know, I'm also not a Titans fan. You Titans fans won't know a lot more than me about the Gold Coast Titans. The Dragons now on the fifth, guys. Ben Hunt. Oh, what a kick. What a long one there. Oh, it's allowed to bounce once. But none of the Dragons are fast enough. They're as slow as snails. But Tommy Turbo's the car ready to roll over their shells. The 30 metre line, he takes it and gets taken down. Now over to the right here with Mr. 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 Who are you, mate? Who are you? Are you um Jackson Ballo or are you the other one? Now Ben Trebojevic. Ben Trebojevic with the spin here. Rabbitohs win yesterday. Yes, they did, Liam. Uh, uh, what else am I missing here? Um, hopefully for time, I do think we got the W. Oh, mate, you can absolutely get the W, but it's, um, you know, it's not happening yet. Jake Trebojevic. Back over to the left. Beauty there from the Manly Warringah Seagulls. TTs is Don BBVAs, man. He's gone with the T's, bruh. And then the high kick there. And the Dragons, could they be forced into the goal line? No, Zaki Lomax managing to push himself forward in that one there, guys. Now, Jackie Bird putting his arm out here. Jackie Bird, a bit of a journeyman, wasn't he? I feel like he's been at a club or two before the Dragons, eh? Now, taking the hit. Second tackle, guys. Now, we're over to halfway through the set here. Already halfway. Ridiculous. Lilo Pye says, I love your hat. Hey, thanks, Legend. We've actually got, um, this isn't, um, the OG hat. The OG hat is every player from 2023 having signed it. That one is, mate, elite. All right, Legend. Okay, that's the one where I truly enjoy it, bro. Mate, it's, it's incredible, actually. Mate, I love you, bro. Love you too, Legend. You, you got your re repeat button on, Muppet. Mate, I'm getting, I'm getting rid of the T, bro. I'm getting rid of the T for 10 minutes, mate. You can't be repeating T non-stop, legend. You can't be repeating T non-stop on the stream. Ben Trebojevic now. Ben Trebojevic really let me down in Supercoach last week. Only 19 points. I know Parramatta are amazing, legend. But how do you only score 19 points against us? How? How? How on earth? Speaking of how on earth, how do you drop the ball again, Tommy? Tommy, what are you doing? Turbo, what the heck? Legend, you're meant to be Tom Draboyevic. Not freaking Tom West Tigers or whatever. What the heck, man? Terrible. Absolutely horrendous, mate. I thought Jake Arthur was playing fullback for a sec there. Jake Clark T. Pfft, Jake, you Brit. <laughs> He just repeated T non-stop and are out to NBA edits. Yeah, mate. That's why he had to he had to go into timeout, Legend. I lo I'm glad that you love my hat, Legend, all right? You know, it's uh, we're hoping to get this one every team player. So far, we've got Guffo, Morgan Harper, um, Kalma Tuanlangi, Ryan Madison, and a, I think a couple more. Sevo, um, you know, uh, Sean Russell, Brendan Hands. Um, Sean Lane, Wiramu Greg, um, not, not everyone, but still a decent amount, right? The bunny sky, um, the moderator, what happened, explain. Mate, they just kept arguing between each other and, um, it was interrupting the stream legend, okay? But this is why people get here on time to know. Yeah, that's all good, York. Just forget about it. Don't mention each other again, all right? Just, like, ignore each other if you don't get along. Now the Dragons, guys. Over to the left here, Blake Laurie. Blake Laurie, too much Mac is on him, pushing him forward through the defense, mate. Mate, mate, mate. Try some Hungry Jacks. Enough Maccas, bro, for ya. Oh, what a pass from Flanagan! And Michaeli Ramalawa may have just put the Dragons in the lead! Michaeli Ramalawa, ladies and gentlemen! The number five! We're going up. Ashley Klein, the Muppet of referees, going up here to the Bunker Legends to decide it all. He's got no try, but Ramalawa has tried. Wait! For the decision, is he on the line or anything like that? Yes, he is. He is. He is on the line. He is on the line. He's close, but he's on the line, legends. No try. Rabalawa will not get it. No, no, no. Cover your eyes. Walk out of here. Take the next bus home if you're a Manly fan. 
If you're if you're a Dragons fan, that is insanity. You've got to wake up, Manly. Terrible defense opening. Tommy Turbo not having his day today, is he? Not his moment in the sunshine at this point in time. My eyes hurt. Bro, why, why do your eyes hurt? You standing in the sun or something, man? You standing in the sun looking up going, My eyes! Like the SpongeBob character. My eyes! Burning like the sun, bro. Melting away from you. Tommy T trying to do too much, mate. Tommy T's trying to do everything for them right now. It's crazy. What a try, sir. It's hard to stop someone like that. Absolutely, it is legend. The effort was certainly there. But we need a little bit more, mate. We need a little bit more from man, from um, from both, actually. You know, we need somebody to take the lead here so we can have somebody to hype out. I'm with you, though, Fight Timer, mate. Tommy Turbo and all that. What a try saver. What an effort. And they did manage to keep him out. Um, all right, let's move on. Go Manly, mate. Go Manly for you, York. Hi, says Omar's NRL. Hello, and Omar's NRL. Welcome to the stream, legend. And welcome, Manly, to the gong. Penalty for them. Daly Cherry Evans getting to take the penalty. They were held down too long. The Dragons players obviously fell too in love with the defense of the Manly Warringah Seagulls. And now they're going to be costed for it. Josh O'Leary now taking on. You'll be glad that he's still on the field for a timer for your super coach, eh? Um, York says, Oi, TJC, I'm tipping Titans tonight, mate. Just put, just put on Clarky for an upset, mate. I think that the Titans could win, but I tipped the Dolphins myself, legend. Um, good for you, bro. Evening, says Mel. Evening, Mel. Welcome to the stream. Great having you here, as always, legend. We're just enjoying the lovely Manly and Dragons game that is happening before us right now. Croker. Hope New Zealand is having lovely weather, too. Brooks and Turbo knocks the ball all again. Oh, no, the Dragons trip. They could have ran away with that. Now over to Hunt. Bird passes it. Then Hunt gets it over to Jacob Little. Jacob Little finds the gap here. Jacob Little now is going to take the tackle, despite the fact that he possibly could have ran a little further there. Then Ben Hunt over to the left. Moses Sully. Moses Sully down the middle. Smartest thing he said all day, says your. He says by time of mate. He comes up with the odd smart thing sometimes. I know it's shocking, legend. But sometimes he says the oddest smart thing, and I'm just really impressed. I'm like, wow, York, you're really, you really did something good there, bro. Smart. Oh, Ravalawa copped high there from Manly. Every day of the week, that's a penalty. And now Ben Hunt gets to take it. Absolutely had to be a pen there for the Dragons. Now the Dragons guys on the 30 meter line here. Earlier, Manly couldn't do anything with their chance. Can the Dragons now? Could Ravalawa even get a revenge try potentially? Uh, I reckon the Titans will win in an upset. Mate, I think the Dolphins will win purely on the basis of how the Titans have played the opening rounds, but also it is only the opening rounds. So if the Titans win, I think that, well, they just started poorly, honestly, you know? I think that the Dolphins are the perfect way for them to prove whether they've really dropped off from last year or they've still got it in them. Carl Flanagan to Moses Sully! Sully down the left! Strolls over! Dick a ding dink! The Dragons fans! Celebrating like wild. The Dragons mascot bashing the ground when he realizes the ref says no try. How long can you deny the legends before you give them the try? No matter how hard Tommy Talao attempts to stop them, they always seem to go over, but they're not being given their points. Is that an interference in the defense there from Luciano Leilua legends? I think it might be. I think Luciano Leilua may be in the line. He's definitely more in the line than Jadaria Hargreaves was, mate. Definitely more. If JWH got his try for Joey Manu disallowed, I feel like that needs to be disallowed. Legends, if we're going on consistency here, and yep, there you have it, Legends. Consistency finally existing somewhat in our game. It doesn't matter if you like the rule or not. I think consistency needs to at least be there, guys, okay? Whether it's a bad rule or a good rule, we need it. 
Are you friends? Mate, plenty of friends with Big House Sport, mate. I get on with Big House Sport. Great York, honestly. Um, mate, absolute legend. Obviously not streaming today because his Gold Coast Titans are playing the next game. Mate, good luck to your Titans, by the way. Up, mate, up the Titans next match. Um, Homo Olukawatu should score, says York. Mate, I'm hoping Olukawatu scores. He's one of my any times, bro. Come on, Olukawatu. Now, Croker, going to Paseca here. Paseca down the right. York never met him in person, kind of. I met him I met him once or twice. He's he's a good bloke, Legends. He's a good bloke. He's a good bloke, okay? Just don't bash the Titans, you know? Because, you know what? You know, he gives a lot to their team. He does give a lot to the Titans. Croker, to, over to Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown, what have you done since leaving Parabar? What have you done? What have you done, Nathan? Nathan, what did you do? Nathan Brown now, what you'll do is you'll take a tackle. Lachlan Croker now, fifth, Daly Cherry Evans with the kick to the right, over, hits back here, off the Dragons, back and forth, did somebody knock it on, that was crazy, yes, we do have one, Ashley Klein stepping in, and it's a manly penalty actually, Kyle Flanagan is in, a, in shock, looking at that, it is a penalty, to the Manly Warringah Seagulls. The Dragons were offside. It's a full set right in front here. Manly with the opportunity. Ruben Garrick for a double, says York. He hasn't even gotten one yet, man, for you to be making that tip. But maybe he can get it here. And oh, no, he won't. The commentator's curse is on, guys. He not... Oh, he throws it out. It goes out of play, Legends. Cherry not being able to link up with his fellow attackers. And that's an uncommon play from the star halfback. Definitely one of the top five. What a half he is, legends. You know, I can't say necessarily I've never met Cherry in person because he's so tough to get a hold of. But, oh, my goodness, terrible link up there from him, legends. If, if you're enjoying the stream so far, guys, we are nearly, we're a little over halfway through the first half, so I should remind you to make sure you hit that like and sub if you haven't yet, another bad call, some of those plays and try, tries are circumstance, exactly man, they are circumstance, but you got to remember bro, um, some of it's just really vague and terrible rules, like some of it's, some of it's completely out of control of the ref, even though I agree, some terrible calls, now the Roosters, not the Roosters, the Dragons. What am I on about, Legends? The Roosters? What am I talking about? He passed it to the Touchy. Yeah, mate. He went, hey, Touchy, score the try for us. And the Touchy went, no, no, no. Think of a no, no, no. No, no, no is what Jackson Paolo says. He refuses to get tackled there. But the big man himself, Rabalawa, the pound led Michael Sivo, hits him down. Now, Ruben Garrick. Getting over the 30 metre line here. Manly, 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 mate. Wow, 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 wow. The, I said it would be 1 to 12, and I'm looking to be proven correct at this point in time here. Nathan Brown, back to Luke Brooks. Tommy Turbo, reversing over. Now to Lau, to Lau having a ripper of a game. The Dragons read him well there. They must have been prepared for the masterclass that was him. Ben Trebojevic now with the magic foot gets past one but can't get past the other and gets held down quite neatly. Now Luke Brooks on the fifth, pushes one out of the way and kicks it absolutely high there. It's like a bomb, bro. It's a Burton-style kick. And it ends up in the hands just so neatly of the Dragons player, making it look so much easier than it actually was Tyrell Slow. Now, Zach Lomax, guys, linked to Parramatta. I hope he comes over, but of course, it'll probably, knowing our luck, have to wait till after this season's over. Chookies, do not jump in for him like I've heard. Don't you dare, Chookies. He's Parramatta's bro to take. And Dragons, you can say bye bye to him. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Jake Trebojevic holding down Blake Laurie. Then Jacob Little back to the left. DeBell and gets it over to Eisenhoof. Eisenhoof now trying to move around here. The former Melbourne Storm men will only get tackled, though. Standing in the way of his teammate, Jack DeBell, and just puts his arms up like, bro, find a way around me, bro. I can't find a way. I can't do it, bro. You got to go around me. Around me, man. Not to me. Around me. Run around. Ring a Rosie in the circle, bro. Luke Brooks. Acting as the playmaker. Gets it short over here. Tommy Talao, the former West Tiger, with a completely misguided pass. Terrible. Then over to Paolo. Jackson Paolo. Carl Flanagan. Brutal hit on him there. Is that blood on his back, Carl Flanagan, mate? Jeez. 
Heavy tackles happening so far. Hard-hitting game that we're witnessing before our very eyes at this point in time. I'm very, very keen to see if we can keep this up for the full 80 minutes in terms of the interest rate. Now, the Manly Oringa Seagulls. Fourth tackle now. Two left in the set. Croker. Back over to Cherry. Gets it to Luke Brooks. Ben Trebojevic. We could have a runaway here. Ben Trebojevic. Burbo. Burbo. Jack Bird ruins the day. Then Nathan Brown. It's the fifth tackle. Why pass it to Nathan? And that is one of the worst passes I have ever seen Nathan Brown. Mate, go back to reserve grade with a pass like that. That was horrendous. That was horrendous, Nathan. Horrendous. I have seen better plays in the year five sport grounds. What? I reckon the SG Balls could score hat-tricks on that. That pass was a real letdown if you are a Manly fan. Now the Dragons get it on the 30 to start things off. It's like a 20-meter tap plus 10 minutes. Let's face it, Legends, really, if we're being straight up with ourselves in this one here. 69 votes so far on the poll. Nice. 59% going Manly to win. 33% going Dragons to win. Nobody wants this, surely. A draw is at 4%. And the ref slash bunkers at 3%, guys. All right. No, actually, 70 votes so far. Keep outdating me, legends. Keep outdating me. Go ahead. Keep outdating me. Now, Kyle Flanagan to Tom Eisenhoof. Eisenhoof. They managed to hold him back here. Good work there from Jake Shaboyevic, and he's acting forward. Then, now, we've got a pass there. Ben Hunt! Surely kicks over, and it's going to be way too deep. It's going to end up with the support on the hill there, legends. I sat on that hill for the wonderful... Well, I didn't sit on the hill. I sat right in front of the hill with chairs for the uh, Raiders Parramatta Eels uh, preseason game. Obviously, the only loss besides the Panthers we suffered this season. Early days, but like, you know, and it was a poor game to go to as a Parra fan, but you know what? It was good to go there and um, check out the place, check out the whole, you know, stadium and all that for once, the Gong Legends. Actually okay, if I'm being honest. Waste the set, mate. Absolutely wasted the set there. It was the biggest waste I've ever seen. But 40 in here, everyone like it's free on Sun on Saturday. Exactly. Exactly, Legends. Everyone like it's free on Saturday. It's It doesn't cost you anything, Legends. Come on. Nathan Brown. Back to Luke Brooks. Luke Brooks over to Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo gets grabbed by the legs and won't be able to use his signature motors. And what a pass! Manly! And held. Fifth tackle here. One more left in the set. Cherry's going to run it. Cherry's going to run it. The Dragons wasn't a knock on. Only went backwards, I think, there. Only went backwards. And now Jacob Little, the former West Tiger, saving the day for them. Up the Warriors is Jim Favai. Hey, mate. Up the wires. I'll give it for you, all right? Actually, I think I can do it one better for you. Up the wires! How's that, legend? I hope that was good enough for you, mate. Okay? Mate, love showing the support. Um, knowledge for Lyric says, ref for the win, just like they help the Panthers. Mate, you go on referee for the win? Well, plenty would love to go that route, right? Oh, the ref overtakes the draw at 5% here. I'm really keen to see who actually wins in the end on the poll, guys, because despite Dragons being so much farther down in the percent um, area, they aren't behind at all on the actual scoreboard. So if you want to go a little risky, Legends, jump on it for the six all go to dragons mate take the risk legends take the risk go do it rep that was a terrible pass bro what pass there's been so many terrible passes today but that doesn't stop it from being an entertaining game now ruben garrick guys the former dragon Flipping his way through here. If Jason Saab was playing today, we'd have another former dragon as well. But, of course, you know, he did his um, little hammy. But he will be back very soon, actually. He's re he's recovering quite well compared to what many expected. So, expect to see him soon. Jake Trebojevic, my man, my man, Jim, mate. If you haven't yet, Legends Like and Sub has been suggested by everyone. Ben Trebojevic. Now, Lawton to Brown. Oh, my God. Brown manages the kick. Manly take out the defense. But the Dragons hit it out of play. I thought it was the defense take it out, but no, it'll be a goal line dropout because nothing resulted in it, I think. So, but I think if that was a try, the bunker would have stepped in and given a dragon's penalty, in my opinion, the way he ran into him. But um, you could also argue he went down quite soft. So it really is down to the overall four of the people in question that are, well, viewing, you know, or in general. So what do you viewers think? You know, let's get you a little involved, Legends. What do you think so far? Who do you think deserves the win at this point in time? Is it Dragons or Manly? Not who you tipped. Who do you think deserves the win in this one? 
Who deserves it? Who's been better this game, Legends? Okay? Was it Manly? Was it Dragons? Nathan Brown now. Always knew, you know, a little bit of a bogey team. It was going to be 1-12 to this game, most likely always for me. Now, Lawton, over to the left. This Is this is that the first dropout of the game? I feel like we had one other, but I may be going crazy. It just might be the first dropout legend, okay? My brain functions so quickly when I am live stream reacting that I honestly could not 100% uh, tell you, man, if I'm being straight up with you. I could not 110% tell you exactly um, with that. Daly Cherry Evans to Tom Trebojevic, and Tom Trebojevic sees the interference and the rock and just takes the tackle, mate. That's the players I want to have, bro. The players that can spot the error and make sure that it doesn't affect them. Now, over to Paolo. Paolo back over to Onokawatu. Onokawatu for the line. Kicks it and holds him out for the end goal. And no, Jaden Sua manages to flip himself over and get himself back in. The goal line dropout won't matter. Ravalawa now using his VG and Spirit just smash himself through there. Arr! And now over to the Dragons down the middle here. We will not stop. We will not give up. We won't stop. We won't give up, Legends. They're just chanting non-stop for their side here. We've already gained like 20 subs in this stream, Legends. It's been brilliant so far. Zach Lomax here. Lomax now. Penalty for holding down. Okay. We got a penalty for holding down, Legends. And the Dragons look unimpressed with that. Okay. Now, they do get the penalty, but... Ugh. Three penalties so far for Manly. Two for the Dragons here. Now, Michele Ravalawa will start it off with Moses Suli. Who's thrown the stray ball onto the field? We got a stray ball on the field, Legends, that they're going to ignore on camera. You don't think I would miss that, right? Stray ball on the field, Legends. Stray ball! Now Jack DeBellin taking the hit. Obviously, Jack DeBellin had a good bit out of the game with his controversies. But now he's back. He's firing one of the best locks around Legends for his um, position. Now, Little. Back over to Hunts. Hunts with the kick. He's hoping for a chase from Sloan. One on one. The manly number one will win the day there. The magic defense of Tommy Turbo. He had to put the engine into Super Turbo to get that one out of there. But the, but the fans will not be complaining. Brilliant pressure if you are a Dragon supporter. And a brilliant defense if you're a Manly supporter. Both will be somewhat okay with that. Now we have another goal line dropout. No longer, Legends. Get that off the field. Exactly. Get that straight ball off the field, Legends. Get it off. It's probably been off for like a minute. But who cares? Get it out of here. Shouldn't be there, Legends. I remember when I was at Para... Um, at Paramanly, and somebody, like, threw a bunch of random balls into the air, and nobody could tell what was actually the NRL ball, because they were identical. So I ended up having to toss about five balls over to the trainers and the ball boys and that, and it was pretty fun, actually. But by the end, I was going, guys, perfect accuracy in my passes for all of them. Why aren't I who they're signing for the Parramatta Eels Legends? Get me on, mates. I can pass, baby. Luciana Le Lua almost, and stopped. Now Kyle Flanagan, it's a full six again, Ruck infringement now. Kyle Flanagan, then over to Bird. Can the Birdie get a double against the Birds? No, he can't. Luke Brooks gives him a hug and keeps him out. And wait, the referee has made the call of Dragon's penalty. Even Lomax is confused. But there they have it. There they have it. If they had me on the field to pass, they would have had a try, Legends, totally. Roosters would have scored 40 by now. Yes, they would have, mate, but this isn't the Roosters. That's what we've realised. It ain't the Roosters. That's the reason it hasn't gone that way, man. Now Jack Bird again. They go right back to him. They just know who to pass to. The Bird! The double against the Bird! And oh, Manly hold him up. Manly hold him up. Ashley Clyde going, go back. Come on, Paris. Sign this legend up already. Jim gets it, bro. Sign me up already. Get Parramatta on the phone, legends. They know they need me. They just know it, guys. I would have made it 13 plus against Manly. I would have. Bro, did not miss a single pass. Clearly, I have just got the perfect accuracy and will never knock on, guys. I will make sure they gain about 5 metres every play. 5, 10 metres. Flanagan. To Sloan, this has to be a try. Tyrell Sloan, and down the edge, 
Rabalawa couldn't do it, the slime does it himself, Tyro Slime goes alone, and scores a try, 10 to 6, right at the end of the first half, the Dragons have the lead, the mascot goes wild, the fans go wild, and Manly will be having their hands on their faces, how do you like that, terrible, brilliant, no matter how hard Manly tried to defend, they couldn't stop Tyrell Sloan. Tyrell Sloan. I'm back. Welcome back, Adelaide and NBA. And it's welcome back, everybody. That is how you say welcome back, NRL 2024. Those are the kind of tries we want to see. Spectacular. And the and even Shane Flanagan is happy with that one, no matter what his stone face tells you. Tyrell Sloan, ladies and gentlemen, the scorer. In three games, he has three tries against the Manly Warringah Seagulls. Call it what you want. That's a good record against them, mate. He clearly just loves to score against this team. Clearly, they just can't handle him. They can't keep him out, guys. He's too good. He's too spectacular. He's too perfect. Bing bong try time. Bing bong King Kong. Chong chong try. It's a try legends. Try time. Try time. Bring on the rhymes. Hype up legends. Zach Lomax. Can he make it a six point lead legends? Zachy boy. Mate. Come on. Do it. Do it and you'll sign for Parramatta. Kick it and you'll sign for Parramatta, legend. No! He doesn't. <laughs> I just jinxed the thing. <laughs> he misses it. <laughs> no. No. Okay, okay. All that means is that the time he'll sign for Para has been delayed by a week. I'm going to pretend that's what it meant, Legends. Oh, no. I tell him he's going to sign for Para if he gets the kick, and he pulls off one of the worst kicks I've ever seen from him. No. <laughs> what was that? He must have heard me and gone, hell no, nah, I don't want to join you, man. That's what happened. He's, he heard me, guys. I'm convinced. He must have heard what I said to him, Legends. No. <laughs> And now the Dragons get the ball back here. Now Moses Sully into the line. About four minutes to go in the first half. Don't go anywhere, Legends. We still have half time the second half. And then, of course, if you want to stick around, we also have the other stream as well between the Titans and the Dolphins. Kick, 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 kick to get on to. Lol, what was that? He is kicking for touch. He was kicking for touch, bro. He kicked for touch because he knew that he'd Simon Parry. He was like, I'm not dealing with this drought. That's what he did. He went, TJC, you are alone on this, mate. You are alone, TJC, he went. Now, Vega, taken down there by Eisenhoof and Little with a little bit of a tackle there. Now, Carl Lawton over Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown into Brooks. Ben Trebojevic knocks the ball on, taking inspiration from his brother Tommy today. He's coming to Roosters, baby. He better not knowledge for lyrics. He better, for, he better bloody not. He better bloody not come to the Roosters, man. Nah, nah, nah. Lomax, if you go to the Roosters, mate, I, I can't even support you anymore. I'm going to be like down with Lomax, man. Take the big L, bro, if you sign for the Roosters. Boo! Let down, legends. Speaking of let downs, the Dragons here have made sure the Manly Warringah Seagulls let themselves down. Inside the 10 metres, we have a penalty here. 10 to 6 it will remain, but it could change in a sec. Zach Lomax here, now over to Jack Bird. The bird, he's starting it against the birds here. Gets them over to 20 metres from Manly's defensive line. If Manly can see it again, oh, that is massive for this match. If Manly can see it again, legends. <sighs> Not going to lie, though, as much as my bias is there, I think he would be a great signing for the Roosters. I really do knowledge for lyrics. If the Roosters got Zach Lomax, I do think that. Now, Jacob Little. Short to Eisenhoof. Tom Eisenhoof, has he scored a try for the Dragons yet, guys? I'm not too sure. If he got one today, that would be a good one. Little, with the long pass to Hunt. And over to Sua. And he's over. Jaden Sua. Simply running over, and now Clyde blows to the spot. T.R.Y. It is 14 to 6. 
The Dragons are shocking everybody here. Who tips the Dragons? Mostly nobody, even though I gave them a shot. And here they do it, proving my suspicion correct. There you got it. Jaden Sewer scores a brilliant run. Ben Trebojevic and Kula, no matter how hard they tried, could not stop him in that position. Tiger Sharks 2.0, exactly, man. Tiger Sharks 2.0 is what we are witnessing here. Tiger Sharks 2.0. In fact, you know what? Mate, Tiger Sharks 2.0, what's the game? What are the games next week? I am going to bold predict the next Tigers Sharks game in this one, Legends, just by looking at the other games to come next um, next round, Legends. Okay, round five. You know what? Screw it. Okay, bold prediction. The, um, who? All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, the, it's tough. Bulldogs will beat the Roosters. Boom! Bulldogs to beat the Roosters, Legends. There's your bold prediction with how this crazy, crazy, crazy start to the season has gone, guys. Zach Lomax, don't you dare kick this. Don't you dare kick this. Okay, okay. You know what, Lomax? I'm going to be a second chance. A second chance. You kick this, you go into para. You kick this, you go into para. For the love of God, he hit the post. For the love of God, he hit the post. He hit the post again. Does this guy not want to side for us? Does he not want to side for us? This boy, he's listening to me. Zach Lomax is listening to me from the gong and missing. He's missing! He's missing purely to spite me! It's against TJC! Are you cold, Tyler? Uh, mate, I wouldn't say cold. I'm not hot either. I'm kind of like in that middle right now when it comes to how I feel. I'm at that moderate temperature, right? I'll be honest with you. Oh, they keep missing for me, bro! They keep missing because he hears me. <laughs> Legends. The Dragons now. Oh, Zachy Lomax lifting them up. You are just, you're kidding me. This is just a joke. No chance chance Roosters lose to dogs. There is no chance, man. I'm just saying in terms of the current logic of it all, it would not shock me. By the way, for most people, except for certain religions, obviously Easter is tomorrow, Legends. I hope you guys have an absolutely incredible Easter if you do celebrate it tomorrow, guys. And of course, you know, Easter Monday, baby, that's going to be a fun time too, right? Because Parramatta are going to be on top and win! Now the Dragons here. The St. George Illinois Dragons kick low and it just goes out of play, bro. Nothing too special there with that one. I'm back, says Booker X Suns. You're back, bro. You're back, Booker X Suns, mate. Welcome back to the stream, Legend. Hope you are having an incredible time. How was your holiday from the stream, Legend? Clearly a very long time. Almost forgot who you were. I feel like an old man compared to the last time I saw you on here, guys. No chance, mate. Booker X Suns says, I'm back. Yep, knowledge for lyrics says, no. yeah, um, he's too busy collecting taxes as Rocky Sport. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy, bro. He's too busy with his taxes, legends. Anyways, that will bring an end to the first half. And you know what that means, legends. You celebrate Easter in May. I know quite a few do celebrate it in May, man. So shout out to the ones that do celebrate it in May. But yeah, shout out to the ones that are celebrating it tomorrow like myself, okay? All right. And you know what? When you celebrate it in May, let me know. I'll say happy Easter to you guys too, all right? It's time for the TJC Sports Halftime Show with your host, the one and only. Can you guess his name? It begins with a T. It ends with a C. It is the TJC Sports Halftime Show for a reason, legends, as I organized the board there. There we go. All right. Took a little bit of spacing out, but I got it sorted. Welcome to the point in the stream where we more so just reflect on the game. We can discuss the next game as well and fill out the time till we get on to the thrilling second half of Rugby League footy, guys. I'm live reacting as well. Um, hope you legs are having a brilliant time. Make sure you hit the like and sub, sub buttons during this. And yeah, feel free to ask any Rugby League questions you want, man. Discuss around. Um, just make sure that you um, keep it PG, of course. Of course. <laughs>
King Jillian 96 says, sup, TJC, up the Broncos. What a win, mate. Absolutely what a win. We beat Nick's Cowboys. Well, I don't really talk about Nick, man. I don't really talk about him on the channel anymore. But Cowboys 13 plus, yeah, mate. You beat them 13 plus. Congratulations. The Cowboys defense was absolutely exposed yesterday. The only highlight for the Cowboys being that incredible um, tackle to keep them out from T Mr. Tom Dearden, guys. The former Brisbane Bronco, actually. Tom Dearden, guys. Shout out to him. Brilliant tackle, as always. Cheers, Tyler. You too, mate. Knowledge for lyrics, bro. Always going to be a cheers to you, bro. No problem. Appreciate it. A big statement if we play like that on first day. I think we will, mate. Absolutely. Mate, if you do, Legend King Julian, mate. If you do, mate. Pia Cora, massive win. It is a massive statement, but also, Legend, don't get too ahead of yourselves. It is... It is just early days, and you know what? We haven't had the Cowboys play a lot of really good teams to see yet, as you said before they played the Broncos. But, um, yeah, you should be proud of that win, man. You clearly showed that you are the better hot team right now simply compared to the Cowboys. The Cowboys could not handle what you were putting at them yet last night. Uh, speaking of couldn't handle it, you know, Bulldogs and Buddies, that was also a really tight Good Friday game. I really enjoyed that one as well. Um, the South Sydney Rabbitohs legends, I did tip them, so I was lucky there enough with mine, but I also tipped, you know, Roosters against Panthers, so my tips were already ruined, legends, so it ultimately did not matter for me at the end of the day. Dolphins win 13 plus, Titans are trash, says Knowledge for Lyrics. Oh, mate, mate, you're going against everybody. You're going against everybody in the chat, bro. So many people in the chat. Almost everyone's going for the Titans to win, bro. But the Dolphins, man, they have, they should win well. But also, don't base it off first three games, bro. Don't use the first three games to decide exactly who's going to win 100%. There's a shot there for the Titans. But, of course, if they lose this game, I, I've, lost, I've lost most of my hope in them as a neutral. And I will not be tipping them. I don't think I'll tip them for a while, to be honest, Legends, but maybe the Titans can change my perspective on them with this game, Legends. Uh, if you don't, if you're not frequent to the channel, I'm a very open mind when it comes to rugby league teams, okay? Like, I don't just make an assumption. If they get on a good run of form, I will respect them and I will rate the form into my thoughts on them, okay? Or if they've been good for the entire season, I will say, credits to them, they really improved, you know, Legends? Like, I like to be straight up. And I will bear to say I don't like, you know... I don't agree, but like a lot of the time, you should be able to tell I'm just bannering and I get on with it, Legends. Uh, we got Storm next week, TJC. So I think the Broncos play like we did. Yes, you should win, Legend, but also you got to remember, man, Storm, they're a different beast in Melbourne. You need to be careful. You can't switch off, all right? Um, do you have Reese Welsh back for that game? Because that could be a big decider, too. As much as I hate Manly, I'm tipping them, says so CR Sports. Well, man, if you are tipping them, Legends, um, hopefully they do well for you then, right? I tipped Manly, too, but. I thought the Dragons were always a shot in that game. I almost tipped the Dragons, but then I went, nah, I should barely should get over the line. But right now, the Dragons are doing it, mate. you got to look at the scoreline, guys. 14-6. to 6. You can't say the Dragons didn't have the better final 10 minutes in particular. When you thought Manly did better for the majority of the game, for those final 10 minutes of the first half, Dragons were just something else compared to Manly. Look, it might play with the fact that they're at the gong. They're not at... The um, they're obviously not at their home stadium of Brookie, which I'm going to in round eight for the first time, legend. I think it's round eight. Yeah, for the first time, um, you know, I'm going to be vlogging there. I've never been there before, so I'm interested to see how it goes. I got I got mates that are going there, there, so I should be okay, legends. I should be fine. But you all know how I am. I get very passionate. Okay, maybe you know, maybe you know, it's really tough to get to the passion of Blaze and stuff. But I get very passionate at the game, so really keen for it. You lost to Pampers, blood out knowledge. But you did. We did. We did, Rocky Sports. But so we did, right? We did. We did. We did lose to the Rocky Sports. We lost to the Pampers, but I choose to forget the Pampers game, okay? Because it was just a forgettable game of your real fan. It was a great... We gave it an effort, but in the end, we just weren't at the level of the Pampers, you know? And I'm just going to respect that, you know? I'm not the kind of person to go robbed or sook or all that stuff. I'm just kind of here to enjoy myself. No Walsh still out, but we will be a fine sailor and bloody good replacement. Yes, mate, he did well. It's like you couldn't tell we were missing Walsh. Mate, he was great as a replacement. I still think Reese Walsh is another level, though, bro. I still think Walsh is that fullback for you guys. Yes, I do think that, um, you know, you can't say that Tristan Saylor's not a good player in his position, but 
if I was to choose between the two, I know where I'm going, mate, King Julian, myself. But I think you know where you'd be going, too, on that, too. Walsh may be the better pick, but, yeah, he's a good, he's a good solid one. I don't think he's as good as Pappy, though. So, I think, like, in the fullback battle, Pappy should win next week. But there's also, you know, the questions of, like, you're also without Haas. Haas is a big loss still for years. I mean, you didn't really notice it, but, like, against a really tight team like the Storm, it could be interesting, guys. I don't think you're winning 13+. plus. If the Storm win, it'll be 1-12 to next week, um, King Julian. Mel says, up the Willington Hurricanes. Uh, currently 33-0 against the Highlanders. Hey! Hey, let's go! Up the Wellington Hurricanes, legend. Shout out to them. Come on, Wellington! Smashed by the Dogs and Dragons, Brocky. <laughs> Got smashed by the Dogs and the Dragons, legends. Who's your tip to Moz, TJC? To Moz, mate, uh, who do we, who are the games for? Um, let me give me a sec. I, I know, I will know. I'm tipping the Warriors and I'm tipping the Cronulla Sharkies, I think. I think I'm tipping the Cronulla Sharkies, but you're going to have to get back to me on that. I'm 90% sure, okay, that I've gone with the Sharkies, both the home teams to win, Warriors and Sharks in this one, guys. But that doesn't mean that I don't think that the Raiders in particular have a shot. I don't think Newcastle are beating the Warriors in New Zealand, okay? I just don't. I don't think they've done that level, but still. But still, they they could do it, but I'm just not backing them for it. I think Canberra can beat Sharks. I'm going with Sharks, though. Okay, I was just agitating. <laughs> well, there are a couple on here, members of the Eastern Orthodox Church, who celebrate Easter in May. It's on May 5th this year. Exactly. Oh, you're just agitating. <laughs> Knowledge, you got smashed by dogs and roosters. Mate, we've got a little bit of debate here going from Brocky and that. No Fafita, no Campbell. Knowledge. Is Fafita back? I, I know that, yes, I know Campbell's back. Fafita's back too, though, isn't he, for the next game, Legends? He is, isn't he? Yes, he... Is he? Is he? Is he? Yeah, he's on the interchange, though. That's what confused me, right? I was looking for Dave Fafita. I was like, where is he, Legends? Where is he on the thing? And then I went, oh, he's on the interchange. Makes more sense. That adds up a lot more with what's going on in my head, Legends. Luke's, Luke Brooks seems quiet, says Will. Oh, look, Luke's, Luke Brooks, he hasn't been as good as he was uh, in his first two games, and he hasn't been as good as he was with his para, but also you've got to keep in mind, guys, the Dragons have kind of shut out a lot of the teams. I think Tommy Turbo's looked worse than Brooks, to be honest with you, in a lot of ways. I actually don't think Brooks has been awful. He's just been a little invisible due to, I guess, how Melia pr approached the first half of this game. There's still a second half to come for that to be redeemed as well, guys. You may shush Brooks for now, but he might be shushing you in the second half when he runs over a freaking 100, you know, meter try, Legends. Wires and Sharks tomorrow. Yep, they're my tips, Mel. If we had them, we would we would have had a chance. You would have. You absolutely would have, Brocky Sports. With Campbell and Fafita back, hopefully they can add something. That is why, in particular, you know, part of why I've gone 1-12. to 12. It helps so much that you have those two guys. Those two guys are going to make such a difference for you. I'm actually looking at the stats, right? The completion rate, better for Dragons. And also, 20 out of 24 compared to Manly's 10 out of 17. 43% possession to Manly, 57% to Dragons. Dragons dominating it. 21 missed tackles for Manly and 8 errors. That is where Manly have let themselves down. 21 missed tackles. Not 10, not 20. 21 legends. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. That is utter insanity. <coughs> what are you even doing in that rate, guys? Now, King Julian says, and Reynolds' kicking game was on song. Best kicking I've seen from him in a while. Oh, mate, Adam Reynolds, mate. Are you even shocked, though? It's Adam Reynolds' legend. He knows where it's at. He knows how to get the job done. Great. Excuse me, mate. Hey, Adderall's and NBA. You don't need to say excuse me, mate. You just need to get into the chat and ask the question, mate. You confident, mate? I'm confident. Uh, is the queen confident, though, legend? Um, knowledge for lyrics is the excuses, Brocky. I thought Kieran Foran was going to change things. Now, nah, Foran and AJ Brimson messed up one of the clear tries to put the Titans in front against the Doggies. That was absolutely horrific, that one. I will never forget how bad that was, legends. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, go para adults and NBA. Go para! Well, that's not good. 
not good, Mel. No, well, oh, no, you're not good, Mel. That's not good. We never love to hear that somebody's not good. RTS at fullback tomorrow, Will, and CNK back next week. Yep, RTS is at the fullback tomorrow. Don't don't be upset that Roger's at fullback. Mate, if Roger has to switch to fullback due to injury, you've got it good as a sign. RTS, mate, I might even have him as my captain. I might even have him as my captain, Legends, because he, when he is on... Right, fullback is his position, all right? Should do well, and I am backing you guys. I even think you might win 13-plus against Newcastle between you and me. Paro are going to beat Broncos in round 19, hopefully, bro. Reynolds will be crucial to us beating Storm next week. He will be King Julian. I'm 100% on board with you in that. Reynolds, mate, big decider in, all, in it all. Rocky Sports says, but we do need to the market for some halves because Bourne's getting older and we do need an experienced halfback. I love Tanner, but he, but he is young and we do not need someone that has experience. We do need someone that has experience. Sorry, not do not, do need. Um, completely different meanings there. Now, I see what you mean, Rocky Sports. Um, look, for me, I do think you need something other than Tanner Boyd. Look, I understand the whole Tanner Boyd, he never misses and all that. I understand that, but... Let's be straight up. While he technically never missed against the Doggies, we can't really call it a real win when he didn't have to take any kicks, right? Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, if you really want to go all the way, go right to the top. I think you need something else, Legends. I think you need something else completely. Um, apologies, uh, Liam, just... Um, um, Liam Porter, no swearing, bro. No, no, like, F words and all that, because we, uh, need to keep the stream as child-friendly as possible, man. Or at least, like, as general ages as possible. But, uh, 14, I will react to your comment of 14 to 6 to what? Dragons? Yes, man. The Dragons did it on the door against the Panthers next week. Yeah, that's right, mate. The Dragons out, did ya? The Dragons have outdone you in this one. Guys, we're at half time and we're on 104 votes. The interaction has been insane for this one. Another over 100 vote uh, stream coming up. But, mate, what I would improve, right, is I think you need, well, firstly, you need a halfback. Yeah, you need a halfback for me. I think that you could use a little bit more quality in a couple of positions. But, you know, as long as you can get yourself into the top eight, it should be fine. For me, a halfback unlocks your team. You've got a decent side there. But if you have, if you have, like, I'll give an example here. If the Titans have Nathan Cleary, for example, you know, and I know that that would never happen. But if the Titans had a Nathan Cleary or even an Adam Reynolds, you know, I think they would be something else. If they kept Jamal Fogarty, if you guys just kept Jamal, I think you would be doing better. Um, you know, those halves, they're just... Tanner Boy does not work right now. Uh, but, you know, they're still Dolphins. He can improve himself versus Dolphins. Dolphins is the time where he can come back, Legends, okay? Dolphins is the moment he changes it. Don't get too confident at an answer NBA at its bro. It's still a bit till then. Okay, Legends, so at Alton NBA, it's don't get too confident about Para versus that. That's a little bit away, mate. I've still got to vlog quite a few games before I get onto that one. King Julian 96 says, Big if Walsh is still out in round six, we should still beat the Dolphins because I think we should be still have a better team than the Dolphins. Yes, but be, having a better team doesn't always affect exactly how it goes down, Legend. Having a better team doesn't always change everything, does it? But you're right. In terms of pay, on paper, the team, you should win that one when it comes down to it. Anyways, Legends, players are coming out on to the field, which means it is almost time to get on with the second half of the footy here. The second half, 14-6 to six the scoreline at half time. Will we be seeing that change? Will the Dragons blow the lead? Will they become the new Chokers legends? Become the new Bronchokes in this game? Imagine the Wasby Eels grand final. Mate, if the Wasby Eels grand final happened, I don't even know what I'd say. I don't think I could be upset either way, even though I'd be devastated with no power win. Anyways, legends, we are back underway. The second half is coming up. Jack DeBella taking the first hit here for the St. George Illawarra Dragons Legends. The goal that I'm going to be making for us is to hit 30 likes before the end of the stream, guys. I reckon we can get there. Then short over to the left here. Zach Lomax is going to wait for the ball to come to him so he can do something with it. And no, no, the Dragons tell him to go back here. They want him to do something else in the play. Eisenhoof now taking the hit. I think they're just looking to make the meters early days here for them. I came back. What? I feel betrayed, says my Tama. You feel betrayed, Legend? Betrayed? Why? What did we do to you? 
What did we do, man? Now on the fourth. Over Philak here. Flanagan to Soy. With Kaylee Ramalawa. Ramalawa dummies. And Ramalawa. Oh my goodness. Silly, silly duffer. Manly managed to force the error into them. Knock on from Ramalawa here. And the Manly Warringah Seagulls will get a real opportunity here to change it all. Both Hass and Pierre to return round eight against the Tigers. Wait, the Tigers are done when you get that, King Julian. I came back, bro. Imagine, imagine. Uh, what's this? Up the Mighty Warriors 2024 champions. The Waz, the greatest sports team in history, right after Parramatta Eels. Kotuku, I was completely against you till the very end of that. Thank you very much. As long as Parra's right up there, I do not complain. Up the Waz bra for you. Have, says Brocky Sports. You have, you have what, mate? You have what? You have what? Manly, guys. Managing to tap on here. Continue forward. Hoo-hoo. Manly Ringer Seagulls with the spin. Jacob Little reads it well with Jaden Sewer. Holding them down. Then Lawton. Over to Jake Trebojevic. Jake Trebojevic past the halfway line here. When you said Tanner Boyd is good enough, it hurts my soul. Isn't good enough, it hurts my soul. Look, I like Tanner Boyd Legend, but unless he improves from what he showed, he's not good enough. He needs to improve, man. He needs to improve. Manly needs to make sure that they improve here and they knock the... Oh, my goodness. They mess up the play. It was there for them. I'm sorry for Tama, bro. I do think Boyd has potential, but he needs to do so much better because he has not shown anything this season so far. But not many players have. He has this Dolphins game to prove me wrong, guys. So if you want to see my opinion change, just go over to Dolphins, where clearly Tanner Boyd never misses, does a masterclass, kicks over 100 goals for his team in that one. Now the Dragons, Dragons get the feet of the scrub because the Manly Oringa Seagulls could not finish off their lollies there. Their bag of lollies, you see, they almost got there. They ate halfway through it, and then right at the end, the bad ones at the bottom that they needed to eat to finish it and get lovely, lovely, lovely second bags. That um, They just couldn't do it. So, unfortunately, they don't get the second bags. The second bags get given to the Dragons, who drop the lollies instantly. The Dragons! Messing it up. They dropped the bag of lollies they were given in the contest. And now Manly get their chance. You're joking. Round 10 is when my Broncos beat TJC's pathetic eels. Oh, whatever you say, King Julian. Whatever you'll say, mate. Boo! Sam Walker's left pinky tap points all career. Oh, my God. Knowledge for lyrics. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He needs his forwards to do better. They haven't been doing... Mate, I know he needs his forwards to do better. 100% he does, Legend. But, you know, he also does needs to do a little more. Too. I think everyone at the Titans needs a little more. Forward needs to get a little more involved. Okay? And also, I remember Blaze pointing it out, and I agree with this, Legend. You know, we may not be talking about Titans as much, but um, that one moment where I don't remember who it was, guys. Was it the fullback for Titans at the time in that game? Um, Lying on the ground. Almost knocked out, it looked, and no Titans players coming around him. That was a concern. You know, you love the Titans, but hopefully they can get behind their side and back them up, you know, love each other, and, you know, be real brothers. Pr protect, your, protect your own against the Dolphins. Show a real fight. Uh, ben Trebojevic now, getting them past the 10 meter as they go to their fourth tackle here, the number 12 taking it. Now Lawton. Luke Brooks, Luke Brooks with the master pass to Cherry, Tommy Turbo to Ruben Garrick, Barrick for oh, Garrick, Garrick gets taken down. Now the final tackle, they have one chance to retake their chances in this game, and it is hit out of play here. I think it was off the Dragons. Knowledge too bad, Sam Walker can't kick. Mate, Sam Walker can't kick like Tanner Boyd, who never misses Legends. Jaden Sewer headed out, guys. Go back to school before commenting, says Brocky Sports. Mate, Brocky Sports giving you an educational lesson, bro, in NRL, mate, in the Gold Coast Titans, teaching you where it's at, how to do it. Mate, he taught us exactly in your head how it works, bro. Dragons holding off the Bailey Warringah Seagulls, and it's a one-on-one -on -one strip. It's a one-on-one -on -one strip, Legends, but the ball has gone wayside here. Ashley Clyde doing the movements for it, guys. Let's watch it again. Sewer definitely pulled it out, but would you argue a possible knock-on there also? 
Yeah, Manly will retain the ball from the looks of it in a feed in the scrum here. Just what they needed in this game, Legends, to get the ball rolling in this one. Come on, hurry up with the scrum. Second half possession so far, 37% to the Dragons, with Manly getting 63%. You can tell that Manly have come to play in the second half, can't you, Legends? They've definitely come to give it to the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Lawton, oop, it's a little bit buggy, the screen, but Olukawatu fixes it. Tommy Turbo for the line! He couldn't find the pass there, Tom Trebojevic, and he's taken down there. The jit is there from the Dragons and Manly. Ruben Gary, the screen quality going down here for me. Lawton to Jake Trebojevic. Jake Trebojevic now getting flipped over onto his dumb dumb, held on the 10. Then over to the left, Cherry Evans. Dally Cherry Evans to Luke Brooks. Back to Cooler. Cooler wants a double here. Tolatau Cooler can't quite get the double, though. He will not be handed it at this point in time. Yeah, that Pampers game really showed that. Which Pampers game? That, that Pampers game absolutely showed. Sam Walker can't kick well, mate. It's just not Sam Walker's um, kicking, bro. He needs to improve it because it hasn't been good enough. In fact, a lot about Sam Walker hasn't been good enough for the Roosters. But, you know, he's only young. He's only young, guys. There's still time for him. All I'm hearing is cap knowledge. <laughs> Nathan Brown to Luke Brooks. I love the little debates we can find in the chat, Legends. Tanner Boy greater than Sam Walker. Oh, Brocky, bro. I want you to say that to Hainsey and see that debate, mate. I want you to say it to Hainsey. Point blank to his face, dude. Point blank, say to Hainsey, and you can say TJC told me, say that Tanner Boyd is better than Sam Walker to him and see what he thinks, bro. See what his thoughts are on it. Manly, full set. We might not need it here. Manly, oh, the Dragons. Managed to pull them, keep them out. Now over to the right here. Dallas Cherry Evans gets it to Tommy Turbo. Long pass, Jackson Paolo for the wing. You go, you superstar. Oh, he's going to be pulled out of play here, surely. No, the Dragons did not have the strength to do it. Now Ruben Garrick over to the left. Daly Cherry Evans, Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown decides he's just going to run it here. Nathan Brown's not going to pass it. How did Boy do against the, the dog, says Knowledge for Lyrics? Mate, how did Sam Walker do against Pampers, bruh? Didn't miss a kick. Did not miss a kick, legend. Did not miss a kick against the dogs. Come on, Dragons, says Adderall's and NBA edits. Very little pressure there on Moses Suli, as Moses Suli will just take the tackle there. Former Manly Warringah Seagull, actually, there. I forgot about Moses Suli. There's another former Manly player, dude. Not, not exactly who you would say is immediately who you think of when you think former Manly players that played for Dragons, but um, he's, you know, he's certainly a good player. I, he didn't want to leave Manly, I believe. Um, that was talked about when he left them. He just ended up doing better. At, mate, he's a good player. He's an all right centre, but I wouldn't take him. I personally prefer a Penicini and our future centre, Zach Lomax, baby. And it's a penalty for holding down here for, on the Dragons. They finally get it. Sully, I'm loving the lead. I'm loving... The lead here, 14 to 6. I swear I've met some of these people in the crowd before. <laughs> Carl Flanagan, back to Tom Eisenhoof. Tom Eisenhoof through here now. That was Brumo's fault, knowledge. Oh, absolutely, all Brumo's fault. He could never be Tanner Boyd's fault because he never misses. Could never be it. Tanner Boyd's not allowed to be at fault for anything, legend. Tanner Boyd is immune to faults. Jacob Little to Flanagan. Carl Flanagan. Passes it. Dummies at first. Hunt. The link up play on the halves. Another probable half there. Jack Bird flying on through. Tackled. Now Hunt. They're halfway through the set. On the 10 meter line. Jack DeBellin. Over to flat again. Luciano De Lu. And Ramalawa messes it up again. Every time there's a chance, the Dragons cannot take it in the second half. I can't say much as Manly haven't taken one yet. But it's always on Ravalawa's wing. Ravalawa, mate. Wake up, man. You gotta do better than that. Nathan Brown now. Nathan Brown charging forward like a bullet to a wall. <coughs> Knowledge if you're trying to correct someone, get it right. Get it right. Exactly for time. Get it right. Know a hundred percent your facts before you try to correct someone, legends. Mate, that's a big lesson you gotta learn in the online NRL game, legend. 
If you don't know that, then, oh man, you're going to be corrected a few times. Trust me, creators know their stuff. And people who watch creators a lot of the time know their stuff because they're smart enough to know to know that the creators are worth following and all that stuff. Tommy Turbo to Brooks. Back over. Now Corey Waddell. He scored a try against the Parramatta Eels last week. Maybe he gets one against the Dragons today. Manly so far. They had a really good start till they played Para. Has that kind of pushed down their confidence here? Ramalawa collects that one, though. He didn't collect the last few, but he goes. McKaylee Ramalawa. He's running. He's going. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he's caught on the 40. You're kidding me. What a run he did, though. Now over. Past the middle of the line. Moses Suley here. Now Jackie Bird. Jack Bird now dubbing. Bird with the arms out. Fed's a manly player off here. So when Billy Army kick out, charged down Tanner's kick, it was it was Bris it was Brimson's fault. <laughs> exactly, Ledger. It was Brimson's fault. Brimson totally told him to do that, Ledger. Brimson gave the doggies to play. It totally wasn't Boyd's fault, man. I was talking about the blow about the blown try. The blown try, man. The blown try. All his fault, AJ. Not Tatters, bro. Now Tatter did a good play there. That was actually a good play. I'll give that to Tatter there. Now the Dragons. Flanagan kicks it high here. Surely, no, no, no. Tolentau Cooler is just everywhere and anywhere. I'm convinced you could kick it to Mars and Cooler would be there waiting to collect the ball. That's just how good he has been in the defense today. And it's why he was rewarded with the first try of the game earlier, Legends. 56% of you still think Manly are going to win, despite the fact that it is 14-6 in favour of the Dragons. I mean, 27 and a half minutes to go. There's time for Manly to do the comeback. They have the team to do the comeback. but And that may have been forward, Legends. I'm shocked the ref missed that. No, he did not miss that. He, they have said forward. There we have it. There we have it. If that wasn't a knock-on, that was a forward pass. And that it was. It was a forward Pass to Paseca from Tommy Turbo, guys. Tommy Turbo, simply not on his game today, Legends. But yeah, that was the only kick, though. That, that was the kick that he did well, Legend. That was the moment. That was Tanner Boyd's moment in the game. But then but since then, they cut him out, the dogs. Hopefully, the Dolphins don't do that, bro. I would hate to see a blowout next game. I would hate to see it turn out that that one wasn't an entertaining game of footy. Roblox goes slash reactive minute says, what do you hate? Um, I hate Manly. I hate... Um, I hate Storm, I hate Doggies, I hate, oh, I hate a few things, bro. <laughs> I hate a few things, if I'm being honest with you, Legend. Ben Hunt, to Jaden Sewer. Now, the Bailey Ringer Seagulls holding them back. Little now. Back over to the left, Jack DeBellin. Short over, he hates Roblox. <laughs> well, I don't really play Roblox, Legend, so I guess, I guess I'm indifferent with Roblox. Yeah, but I'm I'm indifferent with it. Tommy T is bro in this match, I swear. But Tommy Turbo has been awful, bro. Awful. I'm so glad he's only my vice captain and not my captain. The Dragons knock on. Now, Gary. Oh, Waddell. Oh, no. It's a double knock on. They won't get the runaway that they wanted, Manly. Oh, the Dragons will be relieved with that one. Ben Hunt is going mate to the water boy. Let's watch it again. Oh, Blake Laurie. Blake Laurie. I'm sorry, but that was poor, man. Blake E. Laurie, guys, letting it down. Oh, my goodness. Why would I answer that? Why would I answer that, Roblox, bro? Why would I answer that, legend? Which Tommy T? Mate, Tommy Turbo, bro, is the one throwing it. Tommy Talao's going all out, knowledge for lyrics. Paterma says he lives in Vatican City. <laughs> yeah, bro, go to Vatican City. Head off there, legend. Go, go, go. Look for it, mate. Look for it. Head off there. You'll totally find me, okay? That's exactly where I am, legend. Talal or Trebojevic? I'm talking about Trebojevic. I swear it's bro in the game in terms of his knock-ons, bro, and his forward passes and all that. It's been terrible from him compared to what we know he is capable of as a player, legends. Manly, Lawton, over to Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown spinning it around here. Nathan Brown flipped on his butt there. Back there, Lawton and Cherry. It's low but far. Low but far! And oh, the day is saved by Tyrell Sloan. That was a beautiful kick from Cherry. Sloan saved the day, though. Now Flanagan gets it to Zach Lomax. Zach Lomax with the spin here going low to the max here. They can't do better. 
They just can't do better, guys. Jack Birdie flying through. The bird puns are never ending with the seagulls versus the bird. The bird is the word, legends. Blake Laurie now. Laurie forcing himself through here. The incredible Hulk of the Dragons, guys. Jack DeBella now. DeBella to Hunts. Hunts back to Sloan. Bird! Jack Bird with the pass and Lomax could not collect. Zach Lomax, Legends, he could not link up well there. He, You can tell how disappointed in himself he is from the way he reacted to that one, Legends. Clearly not feeling very happy about the connection there between him and his um, connecting centre there, guys. And look, I don't blame him. It could have been so much better than what they did. A real letdown for them in this one, Legends. Okay, now the Bailey Warringah Seagulls, Paseca, only 29% completion rate. The Dragons have not been on in the second half. Bailey just haven't been able to finish off their chances. He's too busy on taxes, the poor bloke. Mate, the poor bloke, man, those taxes are getting to him, legend. They're getting to him. They're becoming too much. And you know what? Credits to him. The taxes, bro, they're, they're ridiculous stuff. You don't like. You don't like it. You don't like having to deal with the taxes. The taxes even annoy me, mate. And I'm not even a tax payer right now. Not even a tax payer right now, legends. Now, Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo for the line. Tommy Turbo back over to Croker. Croker to Cherry. Dally Cherry Evans. Passes forward over Olukawatu here. Hobo Olukawatu is just going to find his way through the line. Squeeze it down there and take the hit. And oh, down the right. And Jackson Paolo messes it up. Again, will not answer that legend. In fact, I've brought up before the area I live in casually, but like, I'm not just going to go, I live here at this address, bro. That's just creepy, bro. That's just a bit of a question where like, you know, I don't know you, man. So not going to answer it. Now, little... Jacob Little gets it back over to Jaden Sewer. I forgot he lo he lives in Lismore. <laughs> he lives in Lismore, bro. Go to Lismore. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask me. Yeah, I'm a big bloke, you know. I'm a really big Cowboys bloke. You should punch on with me, bro. I'm a really big... <laughs> Mate, absolutely. Little. I'm just messing around, by the way. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, legends. I'm just joking. Please, take it as a joke. Okay, J Jack DeBella. I don't promote anything. Blake Laurie now. Laurie. Fast forward here back to Mr. Eisenhoof. Tom Eisenhoof, ha hoof, he goes and takes the hit there. 40 metres they go. And Ben Hunt's going to have to take the kick. Gained about 45 minutes. Lomax runs to chase, but he doesn't get there. Obviously, what place do you hate the most in the NRL? What player do you hate the most in the NRL? Oh, legend. Um, look, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. I mean, you know, I don't like how Lua uh, treats his games against Para, but I, I know he's a good player, legend. I mean, I can't exactly say, say you know, Nelson is for Solomona. I don't like to say for Solomona. There you go, man, no, bro. Despise it. I absolutely despise, bro, um, Nelson is for Solomona. I think he does nothing but grub plays, guys. Okay? He's the one. He's the one, mate. He's got the star where he should play for dogs. <laughs> Tommy Turbo now. Turbo almost away. Blake Laurie saving the day. Dally Cherry Evans to Turbo. And oh no, the ref. The ref saying go back, bro. Oh, come on. You are kidding me, sir. You are absolutely kidding me, referee, that you're calling them over. What the actual heck? And it ends up Dragon's Ball. We almost had a fun time there. Imagine you actually went to Lisbon. Wouldn't that be funny, mate? Please don't confront me from 100 metres away. <laughs> exactly. Please don't, legend. I live 30 minutes from Lisbon, and that's where I was born, so I can't talk ba bad about it. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. You can't talk bad about it. Honestly, for me, I've never been to Lisbon, but I'll joke as much as I want, you know, mate? Uh, you know, the only place where I'll be biased is Parramatta. I'll be 100% biased, because you know what I mean? I, you, when it's your team, it's your location. You're going to love the location of your place, right? It's where you're at home. I feel like when you love a club, you really do feel at home when you're in the area with your shirts and stuff. You know, you know this Parramatta shirt, you know, I feel, I feel nice, you know, even though I'm not really, yeah. Manly here. And oh, Dragons knock on. Manly's getting the chance that they were been waiting for. If Manly don't score in the next nine minutes, I'm going to cry. I swear, they should be scoring. 
they should be. They should be doing something, anything. They should be getting the job done. I hate the Rabbitohs. Are you a Roosters fan, man, when you hate the Rabbitohs legend? I hate it, though. So many jokes. Bro, I can Mate, so many jokes. Bro, where I live, there's a lot, too, dude. I get the issue. It's annoying, but such is life, man. There's a lot of... Um, areas with NRL fans like that, so you just got to deal with it, man. You know what? I'm a person who kind of deals with all kinds of NRL fans, and you do it as an NRL creator. You be polite. Unless they literally go up to you willing to assault you, you be polite, okay, you know? But if they come up to assault you or question you or, you know, just overall invade your space forcefully, then I think you're within your rights to be not happy. Cherry with the kick! Manly! Manly! Manly must have scored there! Surely Jackson Paolo goes over! Goes over! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. 14 to 10. What did I say? I said they needed to do it. And they do it. 14 to 10, Manly are coming back, baby. And it could be 14 to 12 in just a moment. The game has changed. Dragons blowing the chance right now. They still have the two-point lead, but they're going to have to be very careful now. Up the Seagulls just for today, says Aussie Blake Craig. Well, mate, right now you're not winning, but still. Oh, knocks it on into Ravaloa's up. Actually, it knocks it on. Wait, 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 go up, go up, that's got to be no try, surely, looking back on it, that's got to be it, you can't give that, there is no planet where you can give that on the bunkers replay there, surely not, you can't possibly do it, oh, you support the Bulldogs legend, well, okay then, mate, fair enough, I guess, you know, I thought you'd hate Parramatta the most, bro, but hate Buddies most, fair enough. Maybe it's because of the Good Friday game, right? Why you feel that way, Legend? Yeah, no try. No try. It's got to be no try. It's got to be no try. Yep, there you have it, Legends. No try! Manly, don't get it. I know you support Bulldogs. I just responded to that, man. 14-6 uh, to six will remain. Manly, as much as you got excited... Not getting it there. Man, they will have to hold the celebrations for hopefully later if they are to come back in this one because they're not getting it there. That is not the time for them to do it. Now over. Gets it over to the far left here. Nah, go, you, go, you go for Lismore Rams, Robux. Guys. He goes for Lismore Rams, bro. He's going for Lismore, bro. He's a big Lismore supporter. Been a Lismore fan his whole entire life. I, I've never seen him support anybody else. Lismore is like his passion, his blood and everything. Speaking of blood, the Dragons want blood right now after that. Jack DeBellin. What a pass to Eisenhoof! Eisenhoof's allowed to run! Tom Eisenhoof! Tom Eisenhoof! Tom Eisenhoof! Look at that! How often does he get runs like that? And hell damn! My second favourite team is Buddies, bro, which is funny. Sloan! What a kick! Tyrell Sloan surely has done it for the Dragons! Tyrell Sloan finishes it off, baby! Right on there. Smack dang bang on the ground. For the American viewers, you can call it a touchdown, but we call that a T-R-Y. Try! Beautiful! Tyrell Sloan has a double! Take a bow, my son. Take a bow. Kiss the ground, my lad. You absolute legend. What a try for the fullback here. Obviously, plenty of clubs were interested in Sloan, but he's currently very faithful with the Dragons. I reckon he could re-sign with the most likely legends. My second favourite team is Rabbitohs because half my family supports the Rabbitohs legends. I've also got a bit of family that support the Warriors. So that is why I have a certain appreciation for those two. But we ain't talking about that right now. We're talking about the Dragons making it 18-6 to legends. You should see the scoreboard change right now. 18 to 6. The Dragons putting it on Manly. Putting it on Manly. The spoon wax the moon of the Seagulls. Try Dragon Slow to Spytama. I go I go for Redford Redheads. Good enough, man. 
always a good day when you when you get the notification that TJC is live. Hey, Marto, and it's, it'll always be a great day, won't it? <laughs> it's always a fun time, Marto. Appreciate it, man. And they also get the kick. One sec, I've just got to take a bow because I think I may have found a new person to worship here. Long live Tyro Slow. What an incredible time this has been for him in this game. 20 to 6. And with this game, I wouldn't say in general, but for this game, I'm taking Tyrell Sloan over Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo has not lived up to Sloan in this one. I do not care what any points say in the future. Sorry I'm late, by the way. I had to go see a GP. Got my finger all sorted. Sweet. Glad to hear that your finger is all sorted, man. Um, glad that you got the antibiotics and all that. Just make sure you treat it. Make sure you're good. Make sure you take your time with it, mate. Legend. Okay, now over 128 votes in the poll, mate. We keep going. We keep flowing. I love doing these live stream reactions, legends. Now over to the left here, and boom! Molo takes the smacker. I felt it through the screen. Let me just reel that in for you guys. Boom! How long left? 15 and a half minutes, legend, left in this game. So, I, for me, I think the Dragons have done it. But, um, you know, maybe something changes. Maybe we get a shock. Maybe get a surprise. Maybe a little bit. Well, like a wow, wow, wow. Ben Hunt's kicking it. Zach Lomax sprinting. But he can't get there. Tommy Talao taking the hit there. Tommy Talao trying to go through. But he gets just flopped on the ground right there. No, no, no. Just go to Lismore, Roblox. Just go to Lismore. Go looking for me at Lismore. Do that, man. Benson Cover says, bro, how can I watch the NRL on live? Uh, Benson, if you want to watch the Dragons Manly game, unfortunately, you have to. And also, this goes for the Titans and the Dolphins game. You have to be what have either KO or Foxtel, man. Those are the only ways, really, to watch them, uh, Legend, unfortunately, on a YouTube platform. So, um, yeah, those are the two ways that you can watch it, mate. They're the two legal ways that I promote to watch it. I don't know... I don't necessarily properly know other ways. I feel like some people on, like, TikTok may illegally show it. But, like, you know, it's it's not something where you want to do it for long term in your career. So, I'm very happy right now with what I got. Okay, but that's how you can check it out, mate. KO or Foxtel. That's my recommendation for you. Now, Manly. Brooks kicks high here. And top, back, whacked back. Whacked back again, Manly. And LIA. My mate said binge has it. No, yeah, but I have not confirmed that. I don't think they have it, Legend, but who knows, mate. And some games are on Channel 9, but not this one. Exactly. Not these two games today. Super Saturday is and will always be exclusive to streaming services, guys. Even though it's only two games, so not as super as usual. Usually, you know, we have three games for the amazing exclusivity, but only two this time. Zach Lomax down. Zachy Lomax, boy, taking the hit there for his side. Um, I think this will be the closest ever cop this season. The closest ever, bro. We're going to get some shocks. Well, we have had a bit of inconsistency, inconsistency when it comes to who wins and who loses, right, bro? We have. We honestly, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna put you in timeout for thirty minutes because that is very much clearly uh, clearly trolling your troll. Get out of here, buddy. I am back, says Viking Axe. Welcome back, Viking Axe legend, mate. How was your trip to Canberra back to here, obviously, mate? Clearly, you went to Canberra and then you came back to talk to your boy TJC again. Dragon still winning, bro. 20 to 6. People said Manly 13 plus. What are you doing putting Manly at 13 plus legends with results like this? What are you doing? What are you on? This is crazy. Manly at 55% to win. You're looking like. A bunch of Muppets right now. It looks like the 38% for the Dragons will be the favoured side right now. Now, Manly. Oh, they get a six again inside the 10 metres. And, oh, my God, you're joking. You're joking. You are joking. Croker messes it up here. Oh, come on, man. Can't catch, my, can't catch a break, Legends. Can't catch a break to save your life. Oh, oh, I'm feeling the pain in my head looking at that one, guys. That just hurts. That just breaks me to see, Legends. With 12 minutes to go, Manly muck it up once more. Oh, shit. Manly 13 plus. There you go. Ref deserves better the match. Mate, 
the Dragons have been better than Manly today, but I understand, okay, Legend, that you didn't like some of the decisions. Imagine a comeback. I don't see it with the way Manly are playing, man. They don't look on. They don't look on. Uh, they look pretty switched off in this final moment. Oh, Jake Trebojevic is in shock. He's like, sir, the knock on from Blake Laurie. Blake Laurie's not good, guys. He's going, I'm not right. His bruised eye. He couldn't keep it, man. He messed it up, Legends. That's all on him. I don't even think it was a great tackle. Mate, they've won, Legends. They have done it. Smash that like button. 100% people should be smashing that like plus on Legends. They should be subbing all the good stuff. Mate, they should be making sure that they keep up to date. Because we don't just do this. We also do vlogs. And we also do prediction videos. And hopefully we can sneak in a couple other videos in the future. So... You better stay tuned, guys. You better stay tuned. All right, guys. Manly, Warringah, Seagulls here with the ball back finally. Onto the 30-meter line they go. Luke Brooks here. Luke Brooks with the spin. Gets it off over to Croker to Cherry. Now back. Olukuatu. 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 And, oh, he's flipped over. Appreciate it, mate. Just do it, mate. Glad I tipped the ref 13 plus. Well, congratulations, dude, on tipping the ref 13 plus. Worked out for you, hey. 13 plus to the ref, he's doing it, man. But I also think Dragons have just earned their victory today, Legends. I don't think you can take away what the Dragons have done to their team. You know, obviously, some sketchy moments. Their second half was much worse than their first, but credits to them. They That 10 minutes at the end of the first half is where they truly got it done, and Manly haven't had a moment like that in this game, and that's what's cost them in it. Now, Croker, to the right. Luke Brooks to Cherry. Oh, back to Garrick. You can't barrack for Garrick in that instance, and they knock it out of play. And wait, no, it won't matter. It's a... It, it's theirs, bros. Ten minutes to go. Inside the ten meters, the Manly Warringah Seagulls get a penalty. Now, if they score in the first, like, four or five tackles in this one, guys, maybe if they run it back, they can try. But, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I just jinxed them. Alloy A. Just hold the ball. It's not that complicated. Hold the ball. You have two hands. You grasp it. Oh, come on. That is terrible. TJC Sigma. Hey, appreciate Sarah Martin. Legend. All right. Ashley Clyde should be sending Ben Hunt off. What did Ben Hunt do, bro? What did Ben Hunt do? What did Ben Hunt do, man? What do you do? What do you do? You have to adjust its wool. It's wool. It's what? What have I done? It's uh. Oh, yeah, it, um, it mustn't have, um, I mustn't have been paying attention. I can't adjust it, Legend. You can't, um, you can't edit a poll, mate. So, um, it's gonna have to stay like that, unfortunately. Give me credit, guys. Whenever I set up these streams, it's like 4 or 5 a.m., guys. So, like, a lot of the time, my brain, just kind of with longer words, can just, you know, completely skip a, skip a freaking a letter or, you know, just misdo one. But, yeah. All right. Um, legends. Ben Hunt. Sewer. Jaden Sewer held down. Legends, guys. Then over. And, oh, the Dragons almost getting it. Barely 56. Dragons 24. There you go, TJC Sports. I can't believe it. I can't be fooling that shit all the time, mate. 26 against Dragons. Mate, it is a terrible performance for the Manly Warringah Seagulls, mate. All right, any Americans here watching the NRL? I'm not so certain, bro. But, you know, if there are, good on them. All right, guys. The St. George Illa Warrior Dragons. Jaden Sewer now. Jaden Sewer held down here. Sarah Martin says, do you have any merch? I would love to show some support. Not at this point in time, Legend, but hit that bell, all right, to stay notified. Hit the like, hit the sub if you haven't yet. All right, for your support right now. When we're monetized again, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get onto that. All right, Legend, we'll get some merch going. Okay, should happen in the next couple months. So, stay tuned. Okay, Sarah, I want you to look at your notifications, the community posts, all that, all that. Um, Sarah, hundred percent, we can do something there. Oh, speaking of doing something, the dragons almost do something, but Clyde says nah, and barely get the twenty meter tap. Now, Tommy Turbo running to the right. We need some TJC shirts. Absolutely, we can do some in the future. Do a live test. 
Please, can you do live telecast? Unfortunately, Murray Curry, unfortunately for copyright, I cannot show you the actual game, Legend. Um, uh, if you need it, you KO Fox sell like the only ways. I do feel really bad that people can't watch it, and if I could with copyright, YouTube's just so strict compared to a lot of platforms, Legend. YouTube, you cannot, you, you cannot show it, bro. You cannot show it. Plus, it's not worth the sanction or the uh, potential uh, warnings, mate. I've had a few creator mates who have had issues with it um, in the fa in the um, past legends. Absolutely, we will have TJC hats and TJC shirts and all that good stuff, um, mate, coming in in the future. 100% we will, mate. We're thinking of quite a few things. I've actually discussed it with my family, some stuff that maybe you guys would be interested in. If you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them, you know, if people genuinely are interested in getting stuff for the channel. And, oh, Manly, guys, messing the ball up here. Oh, come on, man. Manly, are you not even going to get more than one try? You were 6-0 up, guys. Cherry kicks high here. You were 6-0 up, Manly. What is on with you? And then McKinley Rabalawa taking the hit here and flopping to the ground. GG's to the Dragons. Manly did any, everything they could. I can't stop. See, I don't hear GG's. What's GG to Dragons? Mate, GG to Dragons. Exactly. That's what you should say as a Manly fan. You should be like, GG to the St. George Illawarra Dragons, bro. But yeah, hats and shirts, man. I'd love to have some hats and shirts just for fun in the future. Even if only a couple people bought them. <laughs> Honestly, I love that people ask for that stuff. It's cool. All right, guys. The Dragons. Carrying on here. They're carrying on, man. Five minutes and a half left to go in this one, guys. We're almost at 3.54k. Only two subs away, guys. So if you haven't subbed yet, make sure you get there, guys. We're, you know, 3.54. I'm aiming to get to 4k at the very least by the end of this season, okay? And I'm hoping 5k could be on the horizon too in the future as well. So let's get uh, let's get optimistic, guys, eh? Get battery getting low. See you on next stream. See you next stream, Viking Axe, mate. Because we still got one more to go. That's right. We still got one more of these things to go. One more, guys. I don't get a break. I don't get a break. I'm stuck. I'm stuck with you guys. I have to keep reacting for five, not just five more minutes, but for an entire other bit of a game. Now, Manly, Croker. Oh, doesn't croak at that time. Gets it to, over to Brownie. Brownie, short to LIA. Just keep the language. They put just FYI chats. Chats with bad language get held up for reveal, and they do not get shown if they're in a or have swearing. Exactly. Aussie Black Craig just updating people who go, well, you know, like, the occasional shit word or something isn't, like, something I have an issue with. I also have an issue, you know, with the F and, like, things that could actually make my chat, could, you know, get me in a bit of um, a problem with my mono. It's a second cherry. Oh, good pass backwards here. Oh, then back to Croker. Lockie Croker then to LAA, who gets to Nathan Brown, who gets it to Luke Brooks here. Luke Brooks with the spin. Luke Brooks now. I mean, we do have a PayPal people can donate to, but, like, ultimately, nobody to really chooses to donate to the PayPal, and I don't blame them, man. But, yeah, technically, in the link, we do have a PayPal for people. Frozen Cuck. Frozen, frozen for, for, Name a car for a... Name a... Name a car for an, an, a Ferrari, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not really good with my cars, bro. <laughs> I'm not a car guy, which is funny because my first word as a person, guys, like my first word, TJC's first word on the planet was car, guys. But I'm not obsessed with cars. It was just an easy word for me to say. Now, Olakawatu! Olakawatu for Manly gets a try. The bunker will have a look. But it's 20 to 10 now. A little late to be calling anything here. Brilliant. Brilliant. 20 to 10. There you have it, Legends. Finally getting something else on the board here, Legends. Woo, 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 woo. And in four games against the Dragons, all Kawatu has three. T.R.Y. get in, baby. 20 to 10. Could be 20 to 12 in a second. Legends. 13, 14, 15, 16, 13, 18. Yeah, now, nah, even if they got a converted try next, they would still be down by two points. I don't think Manly can win anymore, Legends. I think that they've left it about, I'd say, two or three minutes too late. If I was to be straight up with you, Legends, okay, hold an Astra, mate. I'm tipping a comeback. You're tipping a comeback, bro? Mate, only three minutes to go. That is extremely bold of you. Extremely bold. Not just, like, bold, 
but extremely. You might have done one of the most risky um, predictions I've ever seen, bro, with that going in your minds, bro. Look, I'm not saying it's uh, it's wrong, but, like, it certainly is bold, man, okay? And we will be live at 7.30, Legends, okay? 7.30 is when we will be live for the obvious game between the Dolphins and the Gold Coast Titans. Excited for it. Okay, Legends. Yes, it is 12, bro. I just... Uh, the scoreboard sometimes, you know, it relies on TJC's silly duffer memory, which isn't always uh, brilliant, is it? It isn't always brilliant. TJC's silly memory, guys. It's a little bit of a muppet there, my, my head, guys. It's like, whoop, 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 and it gives me a, a four, what every now and then, just randomly. Okay, now Cooler, Paseca, Paseca, give him a second to take the tackle. Croker then, moving over to Brownie. Can the Manly Warringah Seagulls get another? And, oh! Hunt with the brutal tackle. Brooks to LIA. Josh LIA forcing everybody off, guys. Josh LIA held. Tackle zero now. They get a full set. Cherry Evans back to Brooks. Gets it to our try scorer, Olukuwatu. Olukuwatu now held back. It's too late. Mate, it is too late, bro. Ashley Clyde met at the match. Mate, Ashley Clyde, bro, at least give it the, give the Dragons the fact that they played well, dude. War one. This is what this is the most amateur NRL game of the decade. Both these teams finishing bottom five, but it has been extremely amateur, hasn't it? It's been extremely amateur. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my peers, putting suckers in fear. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm, I'm rocking my peers, putting suckers in fear. Who? Luke Brooks, mate. Do it, mate. Wrap it up. TJC Sports here. TJC Sports. Here. I hope you're wearing shorts, mate. Croker, back over to Olukuatu, Olukuatu, Olukuatu held down now, Olukuatu refusing to give up here, one and a half minutes to go, if they get another, it just shows you the chances Manly had, Tommy Turbo, Tommy Turbo, and Lomax gets forced into the goal line dropout here, Corey Waddell with a little bit of force there on Lomax, Tommy Turbo breaks up the little tussle there, being like, calm down, mate, bro, the person behind Rigger, uh, behind Seabold there looks disgusted at the camera. He's like, why are you looking at me, mate? <laughs> He's like, Benson Kaipai says Dragons are doing well. Heck yeah, they are, legend. Um, one minute to go, they've won. Like, congratulations to the St. George Illawarra Dragons. So many people pre-game were going, oh, the Manly Oga Seagulls win 13+. plus." No, 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 that's not what was going to happen. I always had a feeling that there was a chance here for the drag odds, but they've managed to even ex exceed my expectations here with this match. This match has certainly been something to remember, even though, let's face it, it's been very amateur from the boat, from both of them in terms of their sets. Where they've really let themselves down is in their, um, is in their completions and their errors, the Bailey or Ringus Eagles. Brooks to Waddell! And Waddell held down. Oh, you're joking me, man. You're kidding. You're absolutely ridiculous. Now LAA. Back over to Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown to Cherry. Cherry with the long pass over to Olakawatu. Olakawatu looking to take them in again. 20 seconds to go, guys. They can get one try here if they're lucky in this probably one tackle knowing how they are. Croker. Now to Nathan Brown. Yep, this will be the last shot. Brooks to Corey Waddell. Oh, no, he didn't see the dragon. And now DeBellin's going to be allowed to run, and he gets stopped there. And that'll be a simple end to this game. The tackle finished off. <coughs> Congratulations, Dragons. Winning at the gong. Many never gave them a chance. But here they've done it. Despite the doubters, they've come up on top with a 20-12 to scoreline. Thank you to everyone who tuned in today. Make sure you like and sub and hit that bell for the support on the channel. Appreciate every single one of you. For those of you that do jump over to the next stream, really do appreciate that. We will be going live at 7.30 in about a little over 10 minutes for this one, Legends. They, this killed my 17 leg multi. Only had these last five to go and what a shift. I know, man. Such a big shift to War 1. Here, type of bed. Night, night. Have a great night, Frozen Coke. No worries, mate. I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. Absolute legend. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all. Yeah. Congratulations, Dragons. What happened, family? What happened? What happened?